<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first thing I want to say before I even get to this challenge, do you guys want me to do a subscriber draft on Twitch or YouTube or something where I go live, you guys pick my team? 10,000 likes to this video, I'll make that happen. It'll most likely be Twitch. I'll keep you guys updated. Kill like button. Guys, today, ba bam, look on the screen. This is the all running fantasy draft. Now, what that is, is essentially all my picks are going to be designed to create the greatest running team of all time running backs, linemen, wide receivers who can block, tight ends who can block. And I'm going to go through the regular season with the goal of literally just pounding the rock. I think this could be the coolest experiment I've done. I think this could work. I think I could win a Super Bowl doing this. Running the ball never goes out of style. If you had all linemen who can pull, get crazy blocks, do all those things, if I use like my first five picks on linemen and then I pick on a running back, I think this can be absolutely freaking disgusting. Now, let me know what you guys think this is. Also, this is my comment question today. Please answer. If you're listening right now, answer. Best running back in the NFL. Mo, or who are you taking in my shoes with your first round pick? For an all running team, who do you guys think is the best running back that you can get? Very curious about this. I want to do a passing one of this. Um, we'll hope that this all goes well. This reminds me of like, it's the Quentin Nelson. Like I said, the Colts are just the perfect team for this. Um, all running team begins now, guys. Cross our fingers for a good pick. Let's dance. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can all see, I am pick number 23 in this particular draft, which is actually good. It was, it's a successful draft. It's not a draft that you want to draft early whatsoever because I don't really have any reason to be drafting early in this particular draft. This is where we kind of debate a little bit. I think my first pick for this particular idea, it has to be the 98 overall CMC. The reason and the rationale that I'm going to give you guys is as follows. Um, there's going to be a lot of running backs as we go, but he's an X factor and he's an amazing receiving running back. That's kind of what separates him. Um, I want to kind of create like a two running back system where I can do a lot of routes with my running backs. So like under center, have CMC on an angle, have the other running back on a flat, like all those type of things. I need, I need receiving backs to do that. Christian McCaffrey, in my opinion, is the best option on Stanford. 27 years old. He's an elusive back. He's a beast. Um, I truly think that this is kind of where I have to go. Because he's a 98 overall, when I went into this whole concept, I was like, you know what, I think he's gotta be the first round pick, just given his overall, the productivity that he's having right now in San Francisco, and how much of a weapon he can be, not only in the run game, but in the pass game. So I am gonna go with my first overall round pick with Christian McCaffrey. Now, I gotta go draft him a beast of an offensive line because the O-line is what's gonna make this challenge so great. I gotta go get him some linemen. Okay, the best thing about this draft, guys, is the players that I want are gonna be there. I wanted Trent Williams. First pick, 100%, I want his own teammate. We're going double San Francisco, but you're talking a 98 overall guy with ridiculous run block power, 99 lead block. If you run left and Trent Williams is out there, the guy on that side is going to be in absolute shambles. Now. As I said, my strategy for this is to go lineman for the next five, get the five best linemen I can possibly get in the game, back to back to back to back, and then hopefully after that go back to running back because there sometimes is those like sneaky like Najee Harris types later. I'll see kind of the way things are going, but I'm going to happily go with Trent Williams out of Oklahoma in this second round. We get the best left tackle in the league, and then next round I'm going to go try and get the best right tackle in the league in Lane Johnson because at round three, there's a very good chance uh, that he will still be there. Trent Williams, you'll love to see it. Let's go. Okay, so lineman-wise, we have, yeah, this is this is who I want. I wanted Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson, I almost considered going Lane Johnson earlier um, just because there are more good left tackles than there are right tackles. Lane Johnson, I feel old because I remember when Lane Johnson was drafted. Like that, not that he's old, but like, I do remember him running his 40 and everyone being like, that's the craziest 40 I've ever seen from a line. And then he just had the craziest career ever. Um, Lane Johnson's gonna go on the right side, Trent Williams, and then we have CMC running outside. As you can see, Saquon Barkley got picked right before. I am I was shook because he was kind of one of the guys who I wanted really badly for this particular kind of team. But it is what it is. I'm gonna go Lane Johnson happily. I think he's gonna be a beast on the right side. And now we look guards and centers um, over these next few picks. And they, they'll be available. 100% I'll have guards and centers available. I might, if there's a surplus, I might just draft a bunch of running backs. Cause like I said, I'm gonna put running backs at like every position. Okay, so a running back update here. You do have Eckler, you have Jonathan Taylor and Bijan. So like, 
I'm not at the point where I'm ready to kind of reach for my next running back at this spot. Um, Jason Kelsey's there. 99 awareness. He's old, but like this is kind of an experiment. Jason Kelsey in the middle with those guys on the... I get to pick pretty much back-to-back. I could probably get Kelsey and realistically one other superstar line. I don't know if I'll be able to get two. Um, but six foot three, 95 run block. I think I'm crazy if this isn't Jason Kelsey. Huge name in the NFL right now. Um, great podcast out of Cincinnati. I can get abilities on him. Like I said, we got McCaffrey running with Kelsey. Will it, oh, gosh, this might be very annoying. I am saying sorry in advance to my opponents because I might be completely toxic in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna stay running back. Is Joe Thunny? No, he's not. I gotta make sure that I get the superstars. So Smith and David Box, I can play these guys at different positions, but I think I gotta go that direction. I don't know if there's any right guards. Yeah, no, I, I have to. Phew, it's a good thing I picked. There's really only two superstars left. I gotta go Tyrone Smith here. I can play him at guard. Um, Worst case, he can be a guard and just like run people over. He's also a superstar. The five superstar line is needed. So let's everybody cross your little fingers that David Bakhtiari is there for our next pick. Because if he's not there for our next pick, I can't promise I'm not going to scream. I'll have to just go running back. But man, I would be shook if that was the case. Okay, he's 32 years old, 6'5". He's a pass protector, but he also runs blocks well and he'll get abilities. So we'll, we'll be fine with him. Ladies and gentlemen, thank gosh. Um, David Bakhtiari have, is, uh, is there. So with this pick right here, yes, we have three left tackles, but he has horrible run block, but he does get abilities. By taking him, I just create the all superstar line. And then we get to look at that and it's going to be majestic and it's going to be completely beautiful. It's going to be, even though there's probably better run blockers, the, he'll get abilities. He'll get like polar elite, all those crazy abilities that if I run left with McCaffrey with this line, I'm telling you, it's going to be absolutely freaking silly. Out of Colorado, good pick. Okay, now that we've completed this, now we're going to look for our, our, our next running back. Um, and we're not that far into this draft, and people don't draft running backs. So hopefully we can get a sneaky good backup to CMC. You're going to see a lot of eye form um, that I'm going to do on this team. So we'll see kind of who we can get here. Okay, so we don't have Aaron Jones and Najee. Our, and Najee was kind of one that I expected. Aaron Jones, I think, does also have superstar abilities. The receiving back is kind of the stuff that I was more concerned with than anything. I just wanted someone who, if we're talking players who could, I didn't know Swift. They must have just made Swift a superstar. I got to take Swift. Just because, literally, I have not used him since EA made him a superstar. I got to take Swift as my second running back. I think that's a fun duo. McCaffrey and Swift. Swift is a super cool player out of Georgia. 100%. Give me DeAndre Swift. I didn't even realize he was a superstar. Okay, so now just to kind of carry on with the idea, um, I'm looking at tight ends with the best lead block. Tight ends that are good but also block really well. Um, Let's go impact blocking. We have guys like Mercedes Lewis, Hunter Henry. I don't know. I think this is the – you know what? I'm going to take another running back. Yeah, if there's another running back – um, give me Najee. I was about to do something stupid. I'm going to go three superstar running back system. They're going to play a receiver, left end, right end. I don't care. Boom. Najee Harris is my next pick. That way I have Najee, Swift, and all those guys. No one's ever going to be tired. We'll have a 14 running back system. Love that. Okay, the million dollar question is who's going to QB this team? I think it's got to be Josh Dubs. Does anyone remember... When I said that Josh Dobbs was legit, I did a video on him last year. I was ahead of this. Can we all admit in the chat? Say it. Just I want. To, I was ahead on this. I literally said the Titans need to keep Josh Dobbs. I, I love Will Levis, and I do, but I, at the time I was like, this guy is really freaking good. He's a huge name right now. I'm gonna take Josh Dobbs for this franchise just because I feel like this is kind of the QB that I wanted with this, um, and just kind of see what happens with him. I think it's a fun quarterback. I don't use him very often. And obviously, he is a massive name in the NFL. They still don't have his face scan in the game uh, whatsoever. Like, not even a close face scan. Uh, but he does have 88 speed and 87 acceleration. So he's fast. He can run this offense. Okay, so my next pick is going to be Traylon Burks. Because he is known 
for having some of the better run blocking for receivers. I don't know for sure. It's kind of just a Titans fan pick. I googled best run blocks. Um, Robert Woods is on here as well. But Traylon Burks is also just a fun player that I want on the team. So I'm going to go Traylon. Okay, another guy known for his run blocking is a guy by the name of Mac Hollins. He's going to be on the other side blocking on this side. Um, I think his run block stats, yeah, 61 overall running about blocking for Mac Hollins. So we got our two good run blockers. I just realized we haven't drafted any defense. I'm moderately worried about that because I also have to stop people. So I'm actually thinking right now, yikes. I don't think I've drafted any defense. I probably should draft some defense. Okay, I'm going to, I don't know if his run block's that good. It's 42 overall, but I need some speed. I need something. He's decent and he's really good. I can't, I'm excited that he's still there. Rarely ever on the team, I'm going to go Darius Slayton. Okay, I'm only going to get like literally two defensive picks. So I got to make these count. I don't know if I want a 30 year old William Jackson as my like, that's my defensive pick, you know? I don't know if I want a 20 year old. I'll take Isaiah Rogers. He's fast. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. You should be worried about our defense. Okay, another guy who I'm, I'm actually very excited for. Very underrated. Not a lot of people even care about him. Cam Smith, um, DB for the Dolphins. He actually has hidden, so he's a good kind of defensive pickup. We got, I think I have two more picks left. I'm going all defense for the rest of these picks because I'm worried. I'm trying to get DBs because D I can live with no pass rush. No DBs. Say bye because it's going to be horrible. Okay, so this is actually my last round. Guys, final pick of the run-only draft is going to be Lewis seeing that from a mile away. My user, my fave, best user in the league, and the rest of my defense is going to be completely CPU. Um, so that's reason enough to be worried. But I'm going to go with Lewis seeing that from a mile away. Six foot two, 202 pounds, 23 years old. Okay, let's go see how this run-only team looks. I, th I, think it, I think I did decent. I don't know if I did great. But I think I definitely did decent. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see the damage. I'm most worried by far about this defense. This is so beautiful. Like, tell me that's not beautiful. Well, we'll get to the abilities in a minute. But, like, let's just take a minute. One more minute. Beautiful. Slayton, Burks, Holland, all good run blockers. They drafted me Tolbert. Yeah, no. A.T. Perry isn't a bad draft pick, actually. A.T. might play... Chigozium Okwanu. That I actually feel like his run block might be decent. I know they worked on it. Okay, line. I have Trent Williams, um, Tyrone Smith, and David Bakhtiari. Center, Jason Kelsey. Right tackle, Lane Johnson. Defensive line-wise, nothing. 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 More nothing. Actually, no, that's not bad. I don't hate him. I don't know who he is, but I don't hate him. Trenton Simpson, I don't hate that. I don't over I know who Trenton Simpson is. He's hidden. That's actually sick. Um Rogers, Trey Flowers, and Cam Smith. That's not bad. I, I can I can stop people. Trey Flowers is 6'3. Lewis seen that. Richie Grant and George Odom. Guys, this is the run only team. Um an experiment of how much I can annoy people by running the ball as much as I can. Building the ultimate rushing offense. Can I win a Super Bowl doing this? We're gonna go through training camp, we're gonna go through the regular season. We're gonna go through, I'm gonna go through preseason. And then guys, I will be seeing you all week number one. Ladies and gentlemen, boom fellas. Okay, first thing, opening day keys, you don't have to ask. Like I will obviously be passing. Like I said, don't worry, you're not just gonna see a ridiculous running, well you are, cause it's moderate, it's kind of an experiment. Um, but I do want to see uh, if I can rush for 150 just to kind of get the running backs. We're going to go through the abilities right now and our depth chart. And I'm going to be able to show you guys kind of what I'm thinking in terms of abilities. So Trent Williams is on the outside. Um, I obviously want edge protector, but then nasty streaks a good one. But I also want a lot of these kind of running ones like polar elite. Um, blocker resistance points. Uh, unspiring and spin pass moves. They have an additional tough nuts. Gain blocker distance points is for the natural talent. New blocking counter with built in resistance. I don't know. I'm going to go with these as kind of my main ones. We're going to go na nasty streak is a really, really good one. So, especially because Tyrone Smith is going to be playing kind of on the inside, that's probably going to be the ability that I use 
most for him. Polar Elite, Nasty Streak, um, and then I'll probably go Threat Detector on some of these guys. The other thing is like when we do decide to pass, when that when that does become a priority, when it's like okay, we got it, we got to throw the ball. What I'm curious to see is how much time I have. We got to think about this. We have all of this talent here. Like this is an insane, insane, insane amount of talent in terms of just like line. So so technically Josh Dobbs, technically speaking, Josh Dobbs should have like five minutes to throw every single time that he tries to throw the ball. I don't need two threat detectors. I'll go Polar Elite, Nasty Streak, um, and on spawn for him as well. And then our right tackle last, but certainly not least, Lane Johnson. He gets four abilities. I might go post up with him just in case anyone rushes three. Fool me once, Nasty Streak, and then I'm gonna go Polar Elite with him as well. Guys, that is our official O-line devs. Now we also, like I said, running back's a position that you can just stack devs because no one puts any weight into it. Backfield master is like the best ability in the game. Evasive is amazing. Leapfrog and playmaker. So what I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna put matchup nightmare on him here, um, because matchup nightmare will activate. So if I want to play him as a receiver, I can. At least it's an option. I don't know for sure that that's where I'm gonna go or that I'm gonna do that, but at least it's an option. Um, with Swift, we have to wait a little while until we get good abilities, and that's the same with Najee Harris. Most likely to start, you'll see me using more of the other two but that's not to say that you won't see them let's go do our official depth chart set up our defense ahead of game well i don't even i'm trying to think of how to run like i have so many plays in mind that i think could be crazy like raven's playbook for example has one play where the guards just like you get everyone pulling that's kind of what i feel like more so than even than stretch runs i feel like a lot of plays where there's like people pulling qb runs all those things are going to be what's going to kind of be the most dominant for us at quarterback, we have none other than Joshua, Dobbs. At running back, everybody. Slayton, Burks, and Hollins. Cornerback-wise, we got Robert Robertson, Cam Smith, and Trey Flowers. I'm going to put Smith there, Flowers in the middle. Safety, we're going to go Delaney up here. And then I'm going to use our Lewis seeing that coming from a mile away. Um, my sub linebacker, my slot corner, hmm, we'll go Isaiah Rogers. Trent Simpson is going to be my second user. My top user is going to be either... Oh, oh, we got a lot of good users here, actually. I could definitely run a 3-3 kind of defense. With, with the users that we have on this team, I could definitely run some 3-3 stuff. And then left end, this is where we're... A core is always good. Yeah, a core is always kind of a solid... I, our D-line, I'm not going to lie, is not... It's not really anything. Like, it's pretty rough. Derek Hall is actually probably the best option that I have in terms of like a pure pass rusher. Let me just make sure that my pass rush is Derek Hall because I feel like he, yeah, let's make, cause he's a rookie. He could get better kind of as the season goes on. Guys, this is the weirdest team I've ever drafted. It's an experiment that will go down in history if it works. It'll go down in, ab nobody will ever talk about this again if it goes horrible. But I know you guys are curious. I know you're watching right now. You're like, hey, is Brett gonna run for like 2,800 yards? In this, you're probably wondering that. I personally, I'm wondering that Traylon Burks gets an upgrade too. Beautiful. Shout out Traylon Burks, best blocker and a guy who I really, if I do throw the ball, I want it to be to Burks because I want Burks to become a superstar so bad. He's on my list. There's like five players who I just want to make them the greatest in the world. Traylon Burks is number one on all those lists just because I'm a Titans fan and I love him and I want him to prove the haters wrong. He's got a lot of haters uh, because he was essentially the AJ Brown trade. So... That the, his face scan is beautiful. Trenton Simpson's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Guys, week number one, fun in the sun. Let's go have some fun. Lock in like Stockton, be great. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, that line is so beautiful. When I when I started this, this is how I pictured this right here. Boom. This this run right there. That is precisely how I pictured this. Five linemen just beautifully running in unison, all pancaking on these sweeps. This is literally the run that I was thinking of when I when I started this whole thing. With three different running backs, I also have the read option thing. So like, Heavy Raven, expect to see a little bit of this. Like QB Power, Josh Dobbs, all these different things. I'm gonna be controlling the clock. I'm gonna be trying to be smart in this and just utilize the fact that my line is insane. Josh Dobbs, I see you, bro. Good job, Dobbs. Am I onto something? Like, 
I don't know. This kind of already looks disgusting. But I'm not trying to freak out. I'm staying humble. But this looks really, really, really good. He's going to follow the running back, too. Josh Dobbs, you're good, man. You're just good, Josh. Good stuff. Dobbs, two rushes, 37 for him. Okay. And I'm going to make sure, like, to get all my running backs involved. So if I'm running a certain set of plays, I want to make sure that we always have fresh legs. That's the benefit of the fact that we have three superstar running backs on this team. So we should always have someone who can run. Ah, that's the first time we've been stopped. Okay, this is kind of what I expected. He's got his whole... He's going to start really going... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> See David Bakhtiari right there. Please slow-mo that. Please. Did you see what what he did? I don't even have to juke. It's literally just like, look at the running room we have. Nobody, like, I can just run this. If I want a Super Bowl like this, this is just, man. Oh, my gosh. And I, okay, there's a little bit of an, ah, uh, shoot. What a sick opening. And then I just sell. Oh, I totally sold that. My bad, guys. Oh, gosh. That was a total sell in the red zone. I tried running on the first play, and then, I just, and then the problem is with this team, my defense isn't that crazy. It'll be fine. We're going to get things back. But, shoot, that actually did not work out exactly how I planned. Good job, Lewis! Seen that from a mile away. I'm worried about the clock, though. Because with this style of football, you got to think, I took a lot of time on my first drive. He could score with no time left, get the ball at half, and then I have to do a money drive with who knows who what on this team. This could be really interesting. That's a dot. Come here. Dude, since when is Amari... Well, he is. I like Amari Cooper, but that's... That's like three catches that all of which I've been really, really, really impressed with. All of those were good catches. Yeah, I might be cut too. Fair play, dude. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit of open field here. Yeah. Josh Dubs, baby. Josh Dubs, timeout. Gotta use my timeouts, but that was a uh, that play was definitely worth it. Okay, time to pass. Who's gonna show up? We should have a stupid amount of time. If you, if you really think about it, there's no reason I shouldn't have like five minutes in the pocket here. Maybe we'll have Trey Burks. Nope, that's exactly who I wanted. Yeah. Oh, wow. What fun. Okay, same exact thing. Drive down the field really easily. Because I had no timeouts, I couldn't really run that well. And then not score. That is not the habit we want to get into. Ooh, okay. I got to figure out a way to score in the red zone. Really, really, really bad. Because we're moving the ball. Like, clearly we've moved the ball. Every single time we've had it, I think we've done a great job. Just, if you're not getting seven, it doesn't really matter. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Okay, do we... I think I got a blitz the league on him. The dot. Didn't expect that. That's the first book. Yes, sir! Man him up! Get out of there. Get out of there. That's his first mistake. Sure. Gives us a chance here. Dobbs, that's your best throw of the day, bud. And Slayton, the body control from Slayton, beautiful. Good job. Okay, momentum. We got to use it. Okay, we should have all day here to throw a laser. Literally all day. <laughs> oh, 
Josh Dobbs just casually breaking a tackle? Casually. Oh my gosh, like it meant nothing to him. Okay, this run, this is a straight, like, just pull. Like, we got guards, everybody's pulling. How, though? That's, that's on... Tyrone Smith totally butchered that for us. That should have been more than that. That 100% should have been more than that. That's really bad. There we go. Dobbs. Dobbs to his former favorite target. Traylon Burks. First passing touchdown of the day. He's starting to commit so much to the run. Like, he's literally playing zero every single time. And that's the only way he's preventing us from, like, just going crazy. Um, onside kick is an option here, just given the fact that I don't want him to be able to kill clock on us. If he selects his defensive play, I will probably onside. But, yeah, he did. I feel like onside's the move here because then he can't clock us. We give ourselves the best chance of winning if we do this. He can't clock us and we can maybe get the ball back if we're lucky. Yep, thank you. I'm a loser. Look at me. Let's go. Beautiful. Okay. Hey, if you're, if you're going to pick your play, that's not a that's literally not a dumb onside situation. That gives us a chance now to win this entire game. Rather than just letting him clock us, take the time. Man, we cannot run anymore. Ooh, okay, our blockers aren't, it's not hitting like it was. Shoot. Send CMC the other way. I sold, dude. I tried to run. That's, we're going to figure this thing out. Kind of as we go, it's going to take a little bit of that to figure this out. But, yeah, I, I can't just completely commit to the run because I'm going to end up putting myself in horrible spots like that. It's precisely what I did. I, I committed way too much to it. Neglected every other part of the game. Didn't even process the fact that the dude was literally sending his entire team. I was still trying to run the ball, and I got exactly what I deserved. But... It's not over, but shoot, we'll learn from that. That's best case scenario for him. Who's gonna who's gonna be a hero right now? Who's about to be a hero? Nobody. I, uh, I think that's GG's guys. Tough toenails. I think the line was really good. I, I want to make sure that I reiterate that. I think our line was really freaking good. Four pancakes, four pancakes, three, two, one. Like, we were dominant. It's just a matter of I need to realize when someone's just blitzing the league against us. And rather than just continuing to run, that I need to have a better passing game to set up the run game. Or else people are going to send their entire teams. And obviously we won't be able to run. Josh Dobbs looked good. He even broke some tackles. We're going to get this sorted out. I still think this experiment can work. I don't know if I got 150 on the ground. I don't. I think maybe I did. Yeah, I don't. We must. I think we were close, especially with Dobbs. Okay, Texans week number two. Chance to kind of correct some of these errors. Let's go. Okay, week number two. Same exact strategy. I let it just score. The, the red zone offense was bad. Everything was bad. I think we're gonna have better. For like things are gonna look more like our first drive always because at the first drive people are just so thrown off that everyone's just getting pancaked. But then as the game goes on, I have to also adjust. I got to throw some dots. I got to make better reads. I tried to go up to Traylon Burks. Did not work out how I wanted. I'm going to go scrambler upgrade for Dobbs because he was really elusive out there. Um, he gets plus one throw power. But his, his elusiveness is probably what impressed me the most. Darius Slayton had a couple nice catches. I'm wondering, I'm wondering about my running back situation. I'm also wondering, should I be putting my lineman at tight end to have, like, and stack one side of a line? Like, in that set that I'm running in wing slot, if I should be subbing out my left tackle and my left guard and doing, like, five linemen, putting them both at tight end, and then trying to run it that way. I was thinking about that because I'm like, if I'm trying to run a sweep with all my linemen, that's probably the most productive way I could do it is to add those linemen 
on the outside and then maybe even take CMC. He said, we're going to add live a little bit. I don't have human joystick on him. I don't usually like human joystick, but I think I'm going to put it on just because leapfrog, I don't think I'll use that much. I'm going to put human joystick on him. And these guys, I hope they just upgrade quick so we can get some good abilities. Okay, week number two, huge bounce back week. Okay, this is kind of what I was thinking. Take all of my guards. Oh, this isn't buzzing right now. Oh, shoot. Like, take Tyrone Smith, move him over to this side, and then try and run. But, like, this is a prime situation of what I was talking about. Don't run here, Brett, because there's no reason to run. CMC is taking over. But that's kind of one thing I was thinking to open up the run game. But guys are literally just daring me to throw the ball. Like, sets like this are what we're going to go up against all year. Just literally saying, hey, Brett, throw. So, Josh, we're going to have to make some throws, my dude. We're going to have to make some throws. And, like, those are the type of throws that we can make. We don't have any superstars. We don't have a lot of speed. But I, I can definitely make those throws. Go, 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 Dubs. Go, Josh Dubs. Come on, man. There it is. I noticed it on the design QB runs. The design QB runs, the blocking is out of this world. And as you saw that statistically last game, the amount of pancakes I got. Okay, next play I got a touchdown. If, if he's going to try and be smart and slick again, I got a touchdown. I, I, I saw something. Slayton, good job. Good job. Go, Slayton. Get juked. Individual effort. That's what we're going to need. People are literally stacking the box against us. Slayton, star dev. Burke, star dev. If we can get one of them superstar with this line in this run game, that's going to be important. But if when people are stacking the box on us, I have to be able to make throws like that. Got him. Seven zip. Lazy. Come on, Lewis. Shoot. And he'll be out. I'm going to toss that flag, and they did there. Come on. Every league I've ever had him. Every league I've ever had him. He becomes an X Factor. Like, no joke. I wouldn't even say. He's just the guy I'm best at using. Okay. Let's go back to, what about Heavy Raven? Like, there's so many people. It's just, these situations, you're literally one guy gets beat, one pancake, one good block, and you're home. Like that. That's what I'm saying right there. One good block, you got a lot of yards. Good job, Dobbs. Plays like this just have to work. Like, just run. Total. There it is. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, CMC. That is more, like, maybe this is the set. Because if people are going to run that, the wing one isn't working. But this run, I literally just take completely outside. So there's no, like, risk of getting tackled. Oh, my gosh. Part of me thinks literally just a slant. Will work. Okay, his ball. Bro, oh my gosh. What in the world? I should have taken through. I didn't expect a freaking user blitz. I saw that Slayton was open on the last play on the slant, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go for it. Throw it to Slayton. Easy touchdown. No. Absolute user blitz of the century. I'm sad. Trenton. So it's pretty much cover three with one guy manned up, and then I'm responsible for the tight end. Yeah, no. Come on, Flowers. Oh, my God. Take the mittens off, Brett. You're better than that. Al looking to throw again. I was about to say, I thought he caught that. The animation, I was like, there's no way Tyree caught that. Okay. 19 seconds left here. Oh, he gets ball at half two. He's not in a horrible spot. I got to start scoring in the red zone just for a little momentum. We're, we're one for one so far. Thank you. Two for two on the season. Yeah, I'm weird. I don't know. I am weird for that. But 
you're weird. You got 48 people on the line of scrimmage. I'm, you're weird. I'm, I'm gonna play weird. There we go. Still not enough movement on this. Seven rushes, 25 yards. Yikes. Go, go, Dobbs. Good job, Josh. That's better. I'm just gonna go mesh spots. I don't think anyone's playing him. I don't think anyone's playing him. Just give me my seven point lead back if I can kick it. It's telling me to punt. Oh my gosh. I got like a high school. Do I have a high school kicker out here or what? Why is it telling me to punt this? You know who's gonna be open. Like, you just do. I might just honestly throw this to Slayton right off the jump. Yeah. Nice user, bud. Nice user. Boom! He's user blitzing me every single time. No fun. No fun if I can't run. You get an onside kick, bud. Let's go. 14-3. Nope. He's short. Third and three. Third and three, third and three, third and three. This is a chance. This is a chance to get a dub. Not a pretty game. Not a pretty game offensively. Not an overly great game defensively. But it's a chance to get a win. It's just all that matters. And guys, good job. Okay, end it. End it. End it. End it. Good job. That's a crit. No, it's not. Okay, the offense we're doing right now is not working. I'm, I'm gonna switch playbooks, go to maybe a little bit more, obviously under center. I thought maybe just having a lot of guards pulling and stuff would be the answer to this. Um, it's not. I don't necessarily think that this doesn't work. All I'm saying is I think what I'm doing right now does not work. Less of the concept not working, just more of like, yeah, I don't think how I'm doing it is sustainable. Good throw. Hmm. Starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. There it is. The defense, they get to Shockingly, the defense is winning us. What if I went to like, I think just a complete maybe under center, maybe the Eagles playbook, something with a lot of shotgun RPOs, chances to get guys like Trent, like some of these linemen moving, as well as like a lot of good under center runs to just lean on because. CMC, I wouldn't even say I'm doing a good job with CMC. I think CMC is struggling. So, as a whole, we are a disaster. Defensively, I'm making some pretty good adjustments, I'd like to say. Um, Flowers, that could be your second. What in the world? It just sent me to the main menu. Holy f What? You, I literally just sent me to the main menu. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I don't do this very often with some of you. If this is something you're okay with me doing, we're gonna talk schemes. Um, because usually I just play the games, focus on other things, but some of you are like, seem kind of interested in schemes. So we're actually gonna go into practice mode really quick. And I'm gonna talk through potentially a new scheme out of Philadelphia. Um, when something's not working, like, I have five superstar linemen and my running game's horrible. So it's like when something's not working, look in the mirror. It's probably you, you know? Um, this wing slot, I know there's good plays under center out of this. But I also feel like there's good plays out of this. Um, you have the bubbles. You have a very similar play in the RPO alert bubble. You have better plays in general. You have a bunch offset. Like, this looks like just a better playbook. Um, these pistol runs look really good some read options. I'm going to I'm going to give Philadelphia a chance and just hope that we can um have more success cuz like I said I'm going to own the only guy having a lot of success right now offensively is my quarterback and he's having success just in the run game. So going into game 3, we're switching up the playbooks. Let's go. Okay, new playbook, new guy, new juke move. Good job, CMC. CMC also isn't quite living up to the first overall pick as well. That's the only other small thing I will say is I have not been doing a good enough job with McCaffrey. I'm not breaking enough tackles. I'm not juking people out like I would with like a Saquon and Giants franchise. We're, we're missing some of that. Like I need more of what you just saw right there, less of me just running into the line and doing literally nothing. So hopefully, go Josh. That's a good run, Dobbs. There it is. One rush, 21 yards. So far, 
This is working. We can't get stopped, though. As soon as we get stopped, it throws off the entire game plan of this team. This team needs to be, like, 20 to 30 runs a game. As soon as I run off that field, our chances of that go way, 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 way down. Good blocks, guys. Good run, McCaffrey. There it is. More room, I would say. Not significantly more room, but definitely, like, we're getting there. Like, this is looking much more like a football team than anything that I had done prior to this. We have some good passing plays out of this, too, which I think add to it. So hopefully I don't become so one-dimensional on Matt Collins. Teaser. That's... Run until their user is sitting there like this. And then you pass, and the user's like this. This is my rep representation of a user when they think it's a run. That's my, that was it. I think it was pretty good. But that's, we run until we can get that. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago. Come on, grab it. Defense has been surprisingly effective. Um, but I always find I can do two relatively good on defense. Even with random teams, because I don't really, I'm not great at utilizing superstars on defense. Some guys know exactly where to put their KOs, where to put everything to make it so overpowered. He's <laughs> up. Um, but I don't. I'm not, I don't know all that stuff. So when I draft defense, it's not nearly as dominant. But Isaiah Rodgers is dominant. Get out of there, Rodgers. Okay. Okay, let's see if Trent Williams can hold the end here. Yeah, look at that. Matt Collins, that's why we brought... That is the first run in a while where I've really seen the effect. Matt Collins, 60 overall run blocker. You saw it. He held the edge. CMC, lots of room. Beautiful. This is the coolest play I've ever seen. Get a good fake. Oh, my gosh. Yes, sir. Chagosium. Weird animation, but thank you for catching it. Good job. Oh, this is about to be a clip. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I just did a clip. Go. No. That might be glitchy with this line. The fake Philly special. Did you see how much room I had there? Dobbs moves, and then I just have this entire right side just to, like, juke people out of their shoes. Okay, Najee, get on the field. Najee Harris. Yeah, Najee. With that, with, especially with, like, his journaling ability to be able to just go... That That's what's going to make him that, like, just that much more special. Okay, 14 zip. Offense is buzzing. Defense is buzzing. We're seeing it. I can see this working. Oh my gosh. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And this will leave him on fourth down. Jones. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. That's a book. Isaiah, that's two. I don't know what what's his dev. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get any. Lewis seen it. Oh, that's a good read. Okay, make sure he doesn't get anything on this drive. Jones throwing on Lewis seen it. Lewis seen that from a mile away. This is a snuggie. Okay. That's crazy. That's... So this is an RPO that I can either... I can throw, like, a streak or do a QB draw, and this is free? Like, I don't even have to pay for this? That guy blitzes. We're just going to throw it to Burks. Yep. Zoop. Zoop. I'm actually going to run here. Crazy as that is, yeah, you just gotta trust your line in that situation. It's third and six. I hadn't been doing that really this season very much. Trust your line, run it in. 21 zip. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get a let's just get a stat check. At this, I don't even like I would just say weird. 131, 62. I'd like to get Dobbs or, or Swift more involved. Um, and we're about to get him more involved. He's about to get jukebox. The way I pictured this was a lot more of with two running backs on the field at all times. Now, the fact that I can get Jukebox on Swift now is going to... That's going to mean something. 
And the perfect offense is still waiting. Like it's it's just I haven't found it yet. Matt Collins is our leading receiver. CMC is our second leading receiver. These are kind of the stats that I expected going into this. What I didn't expect, and this has happened to me before, um, for example, in my all-offensive draft, I literally had the best defensive season ever. Just weird stuff. Always seems to happen to me, and I have no sweet clue why. We get a QB1 check in with Dobbs. Dobbs has been elite. We've had some really good plays with him. Um, I'm going to ask Josh Jobs to carry the team. Hopefully, if we can get this, three touchdowns now, that does go a little bit away from the core of the challenge, which is running the ball. But if I can get that with Josh Jobs, it's going to just going to help us a lot in the long run. So we're going to stick with the Philadelphia offense. I thought the Philly special was really fun. I thought that looked really good. Um, just kind of taking the running back. We actually had almost a touchdown off of that. Um, and then defense, we're just going to keep blitzing. We don't have the players to really play overly aggressive or do anything crazy. So we're just going to blitz the league on them. Try and scare him a little bit. Chagosium gets an upgrade, plus two catching, plus one short row. Lazor, he, they, I think they finally moved him up to start up. But, ladies and gentlemen, week four, let's go. Short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch. But nothing doing on that one. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target. Oh! Mo! Okay. Ah, oh, do we have a dot here to start? I don't, I just don't like the idea of just giving him the ball back right now. I feel like momentum-wise, I gotta at least try my best um, to go for this and just kind of hope for the best. Cause that was a horrible start. Let's just let's just be honest. He's just in man coverage. Look look for Slayton. Honestly, Slayton will be open. Just take his user with CMC. Oh my gosh, Slayton, you're different, bro. Slayton, you are different for that. Okay, phew, phew, mental reset, phew. You just witnessed a mental reset. We're gonna mentally reset, go back to running the ball and try and fix this, laser. Dude thought it was sweet out here that he could just play man on third and long. Absolutely not, it's not sweet. Oh. CMC, he might, I feel bad. What if that guy had kids? Oh my gosh, that was the meanest, I feel bad. Horrible what I just did. Horrible. Back to the ground on first. It's all right. I think this play could honestly work. This is the RPO QB screen. Look at this dude. Oh, Dobbs. Stupidly close there. I'm going to make a bunch of adjustments. Then I'm actually going to run the exact same freaking thing. Yep, yeah, because it's an RPO. It's an RPO. Dobbs, do you mind? Don't fumble, don't fumble. That guy's blitzing, which means I got Matt Collins. Just throw it right away. Dang. Really, really, really good decision on his part. Really good user, really good decision. I, I saw that guy was blitzing, he ran right, right. I knew that was gonna be my auto check. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, I'm throwing that ball now. Now, I probably would've had 88 on the other side. That's just good user by him. Didn't fall for the fact that I thought he was, I was hoping his user would kind of stay in because he might think I was doing an RPO. Didn't happen. Power to you. Okay, defense. We got to step up. Shoot, Brett. Got to get. We're horrible right now. After the interception. Good job. There we go, Isaiah. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Now he's free to midfield. How about this? Racing to the end zone. Dobbs. Yep. Simple. Cut in. Cut out. There we go. Second and three. Still not. We're still not there. It's going to come. I promise. But I have to say, we're still not at the point where I, I don't feel... I don't feel dominant with this team, or I don't feel like dominant with the run game either. I, it's going to happen, but it's just that point has not happened yet. Still, Throwing here, Dobbs. There we go. Good job, Okonkwo. Shockingly, I'm going to run this. I just don't see him expecting that. Just come on. We have pancake. Just block. There it is. I don't know. Okay, the most important thing right here, I think, over anything else, is just keeping the ball. Safe. If it's three, it's three. Great read. 
Blaze! Good throw! Flex on him, Burks! That, the pocket held up. And, and we're, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the O-line effect. I get it. The pocket held up. Well done. 7 up. No, why is... He's the one running on us right now. It's not the other way around. He's the one running against us. And I'm like stuck on my seat. I'm a disaster. Get out there. Good defense. Yep. Good defense, Trenton. Darnold's 4 for 4. He's a low keep kind of playing the same kind of game we are. He's playing very much. He's playing very run heavy football. Um, all of his big plays have been in the run. If we can stop him here, I do think I can score though. His defense is solid. It took a dot from Traylon Burks. That's a snuggie. That's elite. That's elite. Elite level defense. Elite level. Be right back. Be right back throwing this in the snow. Be right back. Just going to go throw my controller down a flight of stairs. And just cry while, while I do. Be right back. How do I suck that much? Dude, what is this Slayton defense? What did Slayton just do? What on earth did Slayton just do? Watch that, watch that route that Slayton just did. Watch it. For real. What on earth did Slayton do? He just stopped. Oh my. Bro. Okay. Three helps. Three helps. Doesn't solve the problem. Oh my gosh. Slayton just stopped. What was that route? What on earth was that? This game, if I pick that play where he throws it directly to me and I don't make the dumbest and Slayton runs his route, I'm up right now. But instead, I'm sad. This is some sweaty defense. Hope it works. Yeah, no, not not twice, sunshine. Not twice. Get out of there, Trenton. Trenton, you're 92 speed. Get out of there. Okay, money drive on me, money drive on three. Run the freaking ball, Brett. Stop trying to be a hero with Darius Slayton. Just run. Good job, CMC. I might just give him the ball. If I win, it's going to be running. I do. No other way of winning this. Absolutely not. I don't, I don't see another. I don't see another path. Josh, that's where the line thing. It's like, dude, what's the point of this line? This fancy little line. Like, oh, sick line, bro. You got you got a great D line. Awesome. Yeah, they all are horrible right now. None of them matter. Okay, that's that's all man coverage. You might honestly see MC it might be your best bet. Or Hollins. Nice catch, Hollins. That's a stud catch by Matt Hollins. Okay, take it to the two. Yep. Good job, CMC. Set, 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 set. Huh! That's blocking. I'm lagging really, really, really bad. There it is. Do we go for it? We did it. Ah, no, we got a COT. We, we, we made it this far. We, we got a COT. Just be, I just don't trust myself. You, you'd think with a line like that, I would maybe put Najee Harris in there, but I don't, I don't trust it. Yep. Go. 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 CMC. Oh, I went too. I went way too northwest there. No, southwest east too. I don't even know what I did. 
Yeah. The first. This is going to be at the 45-yard line. Here's McCaffrey. And that's Evil laugh. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. And he's in the end zone for it. Flex on him, Brett. GG. Bye, GG. GG. Good game. In the handshake line. This is me in the handshake line after winning a big game like that. Condescending GG's. Look him right in the eye. GG's. GG's. GG's, bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Come on! That's how we fight. CMC, the O line showed up when it mattered. First really big game, 155 for CMC, and we're buzzing. Let's go. Breakout! Did someone. Did you. Did you say it? Hello? Somebody said it. I don't. Somebody did. Hello? No. Now I'm being weird. Some, did someone say breakout? D lineman? Chance to go up to star dev, shut him up, under 100 yards rushing. This guy did actually run the ball a lot. This guy beat us the first time. So this is this is a rematch. Big time game, we're starting to buzz. I think I'm starting to figure this whole operation out a little bit more. Josh Dobbs needs to be a big part of things. Have I broken the amount of like, wow runs that I was hoping for? Absolutely not. I feel like I'm a little disappointed in just the fact that I haven't had that like, I, I do feel like the run blocking is, Unreal. Like when I when I go do like a 26 duo or something or an RPO and it works, like it's beautiful to watch. Um the issue is though, it's not like I'm not breaking enough with CMC. And I, I've I've had that before with CMC where I'm i he's always like the running back that I'm like he's the best running back in the game from a statistical, like he's 98 overall, but I just don't ever really necessarily feel like that like boom wow factor. Um like I do with like Saquon and those guys. So hopefully I can kind of fix that. I got Swift the ball a lot more because like I said, I ran the ball 24 times last game. So clearly people were getting tired and I was trying to make sure that when they were getting tired, I was doing the right things to try and help them. We're playing good football right now. If we can win this game, we're going to put ourselves in a decent situation um, overall in the league. Derek Hall is going to get an upgrade. I don't think our defensive stats are anything insane. Plus three finesse moves is crazy though. Uh, the rematch. This is an important game, man. Week six, Mac Hollins is our leading receiver. Put that on your bingo card. Um, on the road, let's go. Yeah, if this goes for a touchdown, you gotta kill a like button eight times. Oh, okay. Sometimes it works. Oh, that didn't work. Is this guy in a custom? I thought he was in Baltimore. This isn't in Baltimore. Is Buddy trying to sneak in the super custom in week six? I think Buddy's got a super custom. I sorry, I'm not. But I'm that. I don't. I don't know if that play was in Ravens. It's, customs are banned. But I'm. I'm. I'm cool today. I'm feeling nice today. Richardson. That's fun. That's fun. Love that. Richardson looking to throw. Rolling to his right. Touchdown. Okay. First drive is 100 percent on me. Something's gotta do. Thank you, face mask. Okay, we're getting so stupidly lucky right now. Luck is good until you need first downs. Like, luck isn't going to take you. I'm boxed. There we go, CMC. That's the first time this game where I'm like, yeah, that run would have been nothing. CMC made it something. Okay, we literally have to throw here. And, yeah, no. Oh my God. The answer is always yes. I hate that in my read. Thank you. Is that a flag on him? Dude, this is, I am literally paying the refs right. You would think that I was paying EA on the side. Like eight penalties against this dude. Holy snack pack. Okay, now just run to the outside, yeah. Don't get caught. That's the worst touchdown drive ever. I am unsubscribing to myself. Begin calm. 
What on earth was I doing there? Just four horrible reads rewarded by the worst penalties I've ever seen. <sighs> Tough toenails. I don't know. Come on. Only question will they get three or six out of it? Flush to his right. I literally I got the lurk animation. Oh my gosh, I definitely got the lurk animation. He just maybe I maybe was too short. That's what I you don't know, yeah, tough, good throw. Burks, Burks, yeah, spike it please. Coach, 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 yep, everybody set, spike. I honestly want to throw this to McCaffrey. Like, is no one on the outside covering McCaffrey? Or am I losing my mind? I don't think there's a single person out there. It would have to get to the end zone. That's the thing. It would literally, the only guy I could see right now is Slayton. Just a back shoulder fade. Dude. Mm. Love the call, hate the result. That was in his hands. That was a perfect call. The fade kind of took us away from the safeties. It was a one on one situation. It only took four seconds. That's all right. Okay, halftime. At the end of the day, we're going to need stops. Oh my gosh! Lewis seen that, but this is the same. Is this not the same situation? I got a money drive. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna try and just score with no time left. I don't know, that was a sick lurk. Dude, holy moly, this run defense. I've been waiting to hit this throw all day and got him. Fine. We're three for 11. Holy doly. I'm gonna take the clock away, try and get seven with no time left. Defense has played good today. Offense, I have so little confidence in. Like, it, it hurts me how little confidence I have. Holy moly. You got a dog, kid? You got a dog, kid? Yup. Good throw. I, you know what? I'm not as worried about... I don't know if he can get seven against me. The thing is, three ties, and that's fine. I, I don't think I can take all the clock away. I think I'm better off just coming out here trying to get seven points, take the lead, and then... Hope that the defense can do something. Good job, Swift. This is when you're seeing the O line start. Yeah. Okay. Essentially, three to tie, seven to win, and he, even if he's going to win with seven. He's got to do a good job taking the clock down. He's only got one timeout. Good drive, man. Laser, laser, laser from Dobbs. Yeah. I'm just going to, I can't. I don't know. What, what's that? What's that? Now Richardson. Force it, throw it to Pitts. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Only guy with one on one trailing. And a one handed pick from Steve. Dude, good money drive. I gotta get I gotta give him credit. I gotta give him credit. The money drive was sick. Cooked up some dots. A third and nine throw on a broken play. 
he deserved to win. I didn't play great, but dang, man. This Kyle Pitts one is what killed us. Okay, he beat us both times, meaning that if it comes down to the playoff tiebreaker, he's got the best run defense by far. He forces me to pass, um, which I hate um, with this team, but I have to be better at passing. If I'm going to win in the playoffs, I have to be able to beat people who are forcing me to pass. And at the end of the day, I'm struggling a little bit. I think I did get this breakout. Yeah, Julian Aquara has arrived. Roll out the red carpet because he is here. Need that. Um, week six, week seven, we play the Browns. Need a bounce back win. Um, the division is going to be tough to kind of get back in general, which is okay. I don't mind fighting in like the wild card as a five, six, or a seven seed, but dang, both good games and uh, props to that guy. We'll see you guys week seven. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week number seven. Showtime. Lamar Jackson. Plan for this week. I don't I don't know. Do I have to I'm I'm sad about my stats. I'm sad. Because I wanted this to I want to have more yards than I have right now. I just feel like it's not horrible, but like I was expecting this to be like 7.9, 9.8, you know? Najee's got crazy stats, but I was just expecting the stats, I think, to be a lot better, um, if I'm being brutally honest. I hope, I as I continue to search, I can find something that allows us to just dominate with this run game. But as of right now, that's not really what's happening. We're kind of like, I notice it. Like, I notice I have more room on, like, duos and some inside runs. But I don't notice it to the point where it's like, oh, wow, this is, this is OP. This is the method. And I think it could work. I don't know. As we go, maybe once Najee Harris gets his second abilities, we'll have like literally three running backs that we can just run with the whole time. But we're four and two. We've lost two to the same guy. We got the Cleveland Browns here next. Let's dance. I don't know. I felt like oh, Burks kind of got bumped a little bit. I'm just going to block up my whole squad and then just try and throw a comeback route to Slayton. I'm just going to block everybody. Come back to Slayton. Yep. That's always going to be my man on man. Man. If someone's just going to play man on man against us, that's going to be my first check is like, hey, if you're playing man on man, you're backed off. I'm going to try and get a comeback. As, assuming my QB can make the throw, we're going to be laughing. Dobbs, can you just host this for us? I think this could be a tough game. Oh, my gosh, man. Chill out, guys. Holy moly. Yeah, the run game is just not there. I'm willing to admit it. Except for this guy. This guy just stiff arming people and rushing for 17 yards. Good job, Dobbs. No one should realistically be able to get out there before CMC. Burks, short. Fourth and two, gross. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49 yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. Yeah, way, way too long. Ugh. Shoot, good defense. Okay. Now the rookie third round pick, it's Devon A. Chan. And good run. Going out to dinner about how precocious these youngsters are. They come into the NFL. Oh, yeah, nobody. Just. Watch him go. That's Devin Kane. Watch him go. Okay. Drive. I'm going to try and do the kind of the jet sweep runs again, see if we can get a good, decent push. But dang. Go. Go, Dobbs. Yep. One cut. That's better. With, with him being, with everyone being so close, like in... In my brain, CMC should be able to run behind Lane Johnson here on this. In my brain. That's but whether or not that can happen, that's a whole other thing. But I should be able to take this to the outside and be in the end zone. At least hey, that's a first down. Oh my gosh. That worked way so he's got a lot of big players out here. Literally just keep running sideline. East West. Sideline, that might be the move. Now Dobbs. Collins, nice catch, Collins. Doesn't have to be anything crazy when it comes to the pass game. Like, just little, like, effective throws like that can take us a long way. 
Can we just block up the middle, please? Don't need to on this one. Don't need to on this one. I'm keeping that. Conquo? Yep. Such a beast, Josh Dobbs. Such a beast. I. You see how in this game, in those situations, they point? I like that. That's like great realism. Big fan of the point. That's that's my favorite. Seven up. That's boxed. Yep. We should be getting a punt here. I might honestly just go the simplest man defense. I don't want to leave any. Yeah, we're getting a punt back. Okay. Josh Dubs, baby. Josh Dubs. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but full field. Who do I have returning kicks here? Here comes Grant on the return. Not the track. Okay. Full field three timeouts. Gotta do something. Just lob it to him. Just lob it to him. Yep. It's not sweet out here, bud. It's not sweet out here, bud. Angles wise. Angles wise, I got it. Eventually, all I needed was time. If I was going to send out the running back, I knew I needed time. Lob it up to CMC. Let him make a pick. 14-7. I'm going to try and win this game right here. It's lame, I know, but I'm doing it. Lamarvelous sold the dude. Lamarvelous did not help him, but everything I'm doing here, like cross man, all these little things, are really, really, really helpful right now. Oh no. I, the last thing I thought was he was just going to throw that ball. Maybe the best throw ever. Hold my 26. I don't know if I've ever seen it, but that was unbelievable. That was back shoulder. Slayton. Slayton, make a play for us, Slayton. Fourth and four, though. If I, as soon as I get behind the chains... It's it's tough sledding out here. As soon as that happens, I'm in trouble. So much about this game is just understanding. I wonder if I can just throw this to Holland. Truthfully, I'm just gonna go up to Holland. I know it's fourth down, but and I know that's not necessarily the most OP player in the league, but I'm going up to Holland because it's one on one, that's a fade route, and Holland makes a play. All that run blocking you're doing is not going unnoticed. Laser right there. As soon as I said that, those kind of plays work. People don't really realize that, and I'm happy they don't, but that type of play does not. Don't do that. Do what I did before, don't do what I just did. Can McCaffrey route somebody up on third down? Yeah, he definitely can. That's why you bring in McCaffrey right there. Yep, move McCaffrey to the outside. Let him just route everybody up. Just do everything for us, McCaffrey. I gotta, I'm got. i sure the last thing is expected is a running back to run like a route like that, but he actually ran it. Go. Get out of there, McCaffrey. There we go. That's that's the running lanes I'm looking for. Okay, defensively, he threw a dot last drive. He's made mistakes though, so I'm not. I do believe that we can get him off the field. If I blitz, I actually might not blitz that much. I might try and just let him throw. I don't want to give an easy touchdown. I want him to earn it, and he's got to kill 317. I'm just gonna play back, let him make a mistake. It's the only fun when I do it. Way less fun when someone else is running the read option with Lamar. Way, way, way less fun. Come on, Lewis. Good animation, actually. I kind of warped to that. Close. Now it starts looking like, do we take a timeout? I've seen this road before and I didn't like the ending. I've lost way too many games like this. Well, I've lost two games kind of at the end, so. I'll let him go. Let him get to at least there. Then I can use a timeout. He'd have to run all the every single play in order to burn all my timeouts. And now that I did take a timeout, he'll run this play. So I'm going to run commit this play. And then we just hope we push him back a couple of yards, make this a tough pass or something. Like this for sure. 
I bet my truck this is a run. No. Oh my gosh. Don't. No, 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 no. Don't take my truck. Okay. No, it wasn't a run. Worst case scenario, he ties it, goes for two, and I have 36 seconds to get through. The worst case scenario is actually a decent scenario. Man up the running back with him. <laughs> How the heck am I supposed to know he's going to do that? Like, just a quick auto read directly at my user. I'm usering there, and he threw it directly at me. Brilliant. I was running, look at me, watch me run away from the throw, completely. An absolute disaster class of brain cells. Why would I run away from it? Thank you, he didn't get it. He didn't get it, that wasn't a good read. Now I feel like he's gotta go one side. Thank gosh he didn't get that. Thank Josh Dobbs. Burks is going to drop this. If I know Burks. Burks, never mind. Never mind, bud. Don't score, though. Don't score, because scoring actually helps him. As crazy as that is, me getting a touchdown there in that situation would have helped him because it would have given him a chance. All I'm going to do here, I'm going to teach you guys a little. I don't know a lot about Madden, but I know a lot about life. I'm going to run. Okay. He's going to call a timeout. Now I'm going to put in my fourth string running back because I don't want to hurt anything. And I'm going to run backwards for like 20 seconds. It's going to pretty much make that timeout useless and should guarantee the win. So I'm just going to run backwards. So by doing that, I just took a bunch of time from him. Now, if I ever have to, if I take, th he could have stopped me with like 20 seconds left. See, now he's got five seconds. I just kick it, kick it out of bounds. GG's. You don't have to be the smartest guy in the fight. You just gotta be the lamest. And I was the lamest guy in the fight right there. That was a lame move. That was a, that was a guy who had lost two games in a row move. 100% it was. Don't lose contain. GG's, bro. GG's. Okay. Big time dubs, fellas. Big time dubs. GG's in the chat. I apologize to that guy who had not gotten a carry all year. You just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. But thank you. Everyone's a part of this team. We're not good, but we're, we're, we're winning. Okay, so we had a fourth win against the 0-7 New Orleans Saints. But we're back at it here um, with a chance to win. Now, this guy, this guy's, I know he's pretty good. Um, I'm like so 50-50 on whether or not to try another playbook. Like, what do we think? I wish I could just talk to you guys. This isn't bad. Like, no, the stats aren't... I'll probably rush for 1,500. Three... I don't know why I'm so freaking salty. This isn't even that bad. I don't know. I just want more big-time runs. I want the Saquon runs. I want the, like, just the anger runs. I want just everyone running. Running everything. I want cool juke moves. Every move. That's the dream. Um, where is the run blocking? Secure the line. This is going to be pass block. I don't think I need this though, but whatever. Maybe I want the halfback one. Yeah, let, let's do this. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Okay. <sighs> Big time week here, guys. Um, the goal is just to keep on winning. Keep it really simple. I'm not overthinking anything. Just honestly, just run the ball. Be smart. Our defense has kind of carried us a little bit. We're not horrible. Like, if, if you look at this, this could be going a lot worse considering I have the worst passing game you've probably ever seen. And a horrible defense. Like this, but we're here. They gave up seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to look at the offensive line. Too many jukes. Don't even know. Thanks for holding on to the ball, but you really shouldn't have. Like, thank you. Okay, I'm going to, if I get this Philly special, you got to kill like button on the video. 
If this is a positive, you got to. This is. I'm calling my shot. I'm calling my shot right now. Coolest play of all time coming up. That was pretty cool. Do I get a like for that? That was pretty freaking cool. I juke too much. Okay, now what if I get the fake Philly on the next play? This this is the most randomly OP play in the game for no reason. The fake Philly is literally you just run. Oh my gosh, the left. Yep, Irv. Irv, good job, Irv. Yep, I'm all over it. I'm just, he's too good. Hawkins is too good. He just beat me to the spot. 100% beat me to the spot. On first to 10, it's Robinson. And he's corralled. Mayfield on first down. Come on, Cam Smith. Good laser. I'm not even mad. That's... I got away for a few plays before leaving one-on-one -on -one with Nico Collins. Was not going to happen again. Oh, I'm gone. Yeah. I am gone. Eesh. That's so difficult for me. If you, like, as a person, my personality is I'm running that guy over. But... I have to know that that's an absolutely horrendous idea. And I, I always fumble. I've probably got 10,000 career fumbles on YouTube. Leading the league. So. Yep. There we go, CMZ. Starting to see it a little bit now. We're starting to see it a little bit now. The dominance... I'm getting better with his juke move, and the line is kind of taking control of this game right now. Like, he doesn't have a clue what to do against, except for clearly he does. If he follows Dobbs, you better be in the house. There we go. Okay, timeout. On first down, Dobbs to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Mom, guys, clip that, please. Can we clip that? Please, does that get a like on the video? Clip that. I don't want anyone to miss that. I That is maybe the clip of the year. I'm gonna make sure I have help. And I'm gonna just try and get a safety here. Second down and a run by Robinson. And now off to the races down the right side. He's got a full the race is on. And finally down at the nine yard line. He was trying to talk. I guarantee you he was trying to taunt. Oh my gosh, he didn't see him. To be to be fair, I didn't see him either. I guarantee he was gonna run the goal line and try and taunt. Bro, the that's a me move. That is a hundred percent a me move. Dude just sold. Absolutely sold. But hey, tough toenails, bud. 14-10. I hit clips. You don't hit clips. You're getting an onside. I'm sorry. Out of half, you can't call a timeout. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. That's a dot. That's just called knowing. That's called knowing where someone's going to be. That right there is called knowing where someone's going to be. It was man. It was not open when I threw it. it became open after I threw it. He's going to come on. I'm going to go for the onside kick again. This is, this is pretty messed up on my part. This is pretty, yeah, no, that's, I'm not proud of this. I'm not proud of who I've become. This isn't me. I'm the worst. I gotta just, why am I the way that I am? It's just when someone comes out and they don't come out non-side, I either want to take, 98% of the time, it's because I want to take a time out. That, that's more what I'm thinking. Hollins. You'll always have a spot on my roster. Well done. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Give me one block. Two blocks. Yep. 
here, second and 13. Dobbs is throwing. Dobbs is just seeing the field a little bit different right now. Dobbs is seeing the field a little bit different. You see the lob passes we're throwing right now? GG's, dude. That was a sick game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week number 10. Starting to buzz a little bit. CMC is easily like living up to the fact that he is my first pick. I think that was, that was important that that happened because honestly, running backs are so difficult. But 4.8600 there, and then receiving, he's got 367. He's our leading player in, in, in every sense. And honestly, we're just doing a good job controlling clock, and that's been a, the biggest part of our success by far is just the fact that we're, we're can, kind of controlling the games. Swift's had carries, but not as – and I think come playoff time, I will make that a priority to get him – the ball more, but right now CMC is breaking every tackle and CMC is pulling off some of the coolest clips that I've had all year. So I don't really want to go away from that receiving wise. I had the idea that I really wanted to try and get these breakouts. Um, and currently, yeah, none of my receivers are getting breakouts. The only, they're going to be wanting to break out of the Colts organization because they see the ball so little. Nobody on this team is getting a breakout right now. Literally, we are just trying to. I'm trying to get dubs. All I care about is wins. So, week number 10, going up against the Patriots, we got a weekly where it should be McCaffrey. He literally broke 5,000 tackles and had the coolest play I've ever seen in my life in the passing game. Big time game here against the Patriots. Lock in, get a dub. Let's go. I'm eating a protein bar, but I had to snap. Oh no. Go, dubs. I almost didn't snap because I was eating a protein bar, but you guys, I've been doing this a long time. You guys know me. You know what to expect. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And just shedding him off there. Inside the 10. Who the heck? What the heck is this? Sorry. I'm done eating. I'm almost, well, I'm almost done. Crazy clips. Smile away. Yep, that's a flag too. I think that must. I think that's clearly on them. Yep. Out of the gun, Dobbs. Hollins, Hollins, good job, Mac. First down, three for three. That's touchdowns. Oh, see, this is the difference between CMC and Swift in this game. CMC, you can hit like four jukes back to back without losing stamina. Swift, watch. First one's good. Second one's good. The third juke, you're going to pay for it a little bit. This guy has no answer for this run game. Absolutely no answer. But he's got a better, see, he's got a better double juke. The double juke is the best way to get inside and then right back outside. Swift does that better for sure. That sucks. Dobbs, Hollins, oh, you have the, I have the right to be upset, I'm going for it just because I'm upset, I'm going for it just because I'm upset, that was a beam, crossbody beam, shoot, blitzing, it's going to be Chagosium, or, yeah, you got, you got a conquer. how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they yeah, I got, I got caught on my Rightfully so, that was a dot. Completely caught. I was running backwards with a D lineman to cover a post. That, you're not going to have very much success doing that. Watch the same thing, but he might go. He might try and go a different direction. Honestly, let him. I like to let him try and run a little bit, make him think. Oh, maybe a touchdown. Boom. Fumble. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Car now on first down. That's a dot. And back to the air on second down. It's Car. 
Nope, third down. He's in a tough... Do you take three here? Three's good in this situation, but you haven't shown the ability to stop me. So... What I'm going to do is this half... Man, half zone. I just manned up that whole side. So that's usually where people are going to look seam-wise. And then I'm going to man up this side too. So it's... Essentially, it looks like zone, but it's man. And I'm hoping he tries to throw like a seam or something. That's exactly what he does. But tough toenails. It was manned up. It's not prevent. If you come out on something, you get just switch it. Switch it to the opposite. It'll confuse people. On play action, it's Carr. It's not a good read, honestly. If his red zone was better, this game's totally different. But he's he's been really, 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 really weak. His red zone offense. And that that's what's completely like hurt him in this. Yep. Fourth down. Same situation. Had you taken three last time, you're allowed to take three now. But because you decided not to take three last time, now he's in another situation where if you don't get this, it's for sure GG. Then you've had a couple opportunities already in this game to get out of here. You got the receivers to do it. I'm just going to blitz and try and hope I don't give him time to throw to these receivers. Put him in the middle. I'm just going to use a Robinson. Cause I think he's got. If he doesn't block Robinson, he's only going to have about a second to throw. That's a good read. That's a good read. Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. Okay, make this, make this difficult. Come on! Good play. Hey, for what this was, this guy's actually made it a close game. That was a long drive. A lot of fourth down conversions. I'm just going to take the ball. I'm going to do what I've done all season. I'm going to attempt to run the ball, annoy him a little bit. That's our path to victory for sure. Still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. Shoot! Good job. Best case thing. I uh, I need this win. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take the clock down a little bit. Just keep the ball on the ground. That Slayton press is very interesting, but that is that is Sneed over there, so it's not. Oh. Bro, he is remarkable right now i have this is crazy the little side juke i'm just getting side quests all over the place yep that guy's ankles are not okay there is nothing okay about that someone check on him get him a hug asap oh that was brutal holy moly that was brutal that's another one. Yeah, shoot, 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 bro, shoot. Oh. Sneed just had to ruin another clip. Sneed had to ruin it. You have to be the center of attention, Sneed. You can't just let me win. Okay, good job. If he comes out in anything other than kick up, I'm gonna go for the onside. And I'm gonna try and end this. Because three is fine, and I think his red zone is actually worse. So there's more than there's strategy the onside because I don't want to get beat by big plays. Once you cut the field to like 40 yards, a lot of guys actually are more stressed because it's just the windows are way smaller. So if I have a chance to get the ball back with Blake or take a timeout, as we just took, that's a win-win. I'm going to go right back to it because I don't think he's that confident at the half field, um, and he's probably going to get there anyway. So it's a tiny bit weird strategy but it, it is a strategy and this way and that results in a flag throwing on first down is car check mates beth harman champion chess champion that was my dream i watched that show wanted to be good at chess very quickly realized i was horrible at chess don't know how people do it but i'll play anybody in here in chess no but i I lose to Maddie every time. We After we watched the Queen's Gambit, she, like, we both kind of started playing chess. And I don't know what it was. That game, I suck at that game. 
That's actually a really good play. There we go, Trent Williams. That was a pancake. He's gonna get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Good job, CMC. GG's, man. GG's. Okay. That is, uh, we're starting to see. I think I figured out a system. Those under center runs are absolutely stupid. I'm throwing like 49 yards a game right now. I just ran for 172 with him, and then I think Swift had some as well. Going into the bye week, the run game, I told you, my brain works sometimes. And I'm starting to figure out, okay, huh, that works. That works. That doesn't work. This is my brain. Oh. That didn't work. That did work. So on and so forth. And eventually everything works. So big time win. We're going into the bye week feeling really, really, really good. We got the Bucks after the bye week number 12. Hopefully we can lock in, get a win against them. But honestly, our stats, like CMC is starting to go crazy. Behind this line, Dobbs doesn't have to do anything. 5.6, 8.1 a pop, 19.6 a pop. Like, look at this. Those are the numbers of a winner. And broken tackles have been there. The O-line's been phenomenal. I'll see you guys after the bye week. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Bucks week, baby. Let's find a way. Going up, they took Joe Burrow. Do we agree? I don't know. They took Joe Burrow's X-Factor, which I guess they don't have a ton of X-Factor quarterbacks. Why is my hair so poofy? I just feel like my hair sucks all the time. Worst hair of 2022 on YouTube. I'm going to end up on that list. Um, Garrett, I need a new haircut. Like, help me out, man. I'd love to just get a new, totally new style, totally new look, new me, like new year, all that stuff. That, that's, that's what I need. I need that in my life. Um, I don't have a lot of breakouts, but I do have some good stats. We're doing well. I think CMC realistically should be up there for MVP, but I think he's Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, they're always so... What's so weird is Nick Chubb's there, and like, how is he doing more than us? I just can't imagine a world. What's Nick Chubb's stats? That dude better have five billion yards on the ground. Touche. I'll see myself out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bucks week, guys. Let's go. Okay, this looks like cover one. That middle safety is going to kind of tell me the story. Dang, Daniel. Holy. That's a spy. I, I respect that. It's not necessarily a zone that he had. I think he, maybe that was just a robber in the middle. I'm looking for... Yeah, that's a great... That's just on me. Bad, bad, bad execution on my part. I got to either wait longer or throw it earlier. There's really no answer to it. Okay. Oh, okay. That first drive was not what I wanted. I got away. Oh my god. Oh, batting down the hatches, fellas. Oh, I'm about to lose it. Dang it, man. Honestly, it's it's about time that this just starts happening to me. Like the fumbles, the picks. This whole year has been a movie, and this movie is about to go to that part of the movie when it, things get bad and then they're gonna get good again. That's the part of the movie that we're at right now. Just where I'm getting absolutely cooked. Good throw. Okay. Okay, something's got to give. Good job, Dubs. You'd think I had money on the other team. You'd think I had money on the other team. Oh. Gosh. Like, what in the... Why am I... Okay, this is why I know it's time to take a break. When I'm jump hurdling with Dobbs. Like, that's... Like, okay, right. time to retire. Go play Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite. 
Play action. It's Burrow. Pass taken in by his big Dude, end. lasers everywhere. This is this is the laser show right now. Oh my goodness. This is horrible. For every five games you win, this is this is what happens. Hopefully he goes for this. If he's if he's smart, he takes three so fast. But the problem, the good thing is, yeah, he's gonna take three. That's a three score lead. Okay, if I fumble here, it's over. Don't fumble, Brett. Please, anything but fumbling. Josh Dubs, baby. Josh Dubs. Hey, we're gonna take some hits. When you fumbled four times already, you have nothing to lose. You play the game with nothing to lose. Fear? Fear is just a number, man. Brett Barrett. Remember that. Fear is just a number, but it's not, really. That guy's blitzing. We should be looking at one-on-one. -on -one -on That's a good read, Brett. Missed him. Dude, this is brutal. Like, what? What is this? This is and he gets ball at half. This thing is all over, but the crying. I'm about to go order myself a quarter pounder and cry. My gosh, what a horrible game by myself. I got no choice, guys. I have no choice. Like this one isn't even out of just. This is out of necessity. Gilkin. 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 No. Oh. On second down, here's a run with Moss. And that one open. Burrow looking to pass. He's short, isn't he? Nope. He got it. Good throw. I don't think he has it. Once again, the best thing here, actually, if he takes three, it helps me. Um. But I'm assuming, yeah, he's going to go for it. If he gets seven, this is GG's. Bro, you cannot make... Shut up. You can't make this stuff up. It's Richie freaking Grant. Who the heck is Richie Grant? How long was I on how long was I on vacation for? This guy's a beast. Yeah, okay. Under 150, I can get him. Do I do I loser this? Do I play like a loser? Oh, there's always that. You gotta hold him to under 150. Truthfully. Long term, yes. Th that could be very good. Th Sorry, this light is kind of bothering me. Long term, yes. 100%. That could be good. But he's really only going to get like recuperation. Even if I get it, he's going to. So I don't want to sell out for the clout and then end up with recuperation. Like there's nothing. Like I don't need him to be a little less tired. You know, I won't notice that. I'm not going to notice him. Oh, he's not tired on third downs. Wow, I noticed that. My 88 safety isn't tired. Yeah, I'm so glad I I'm so glad I stressed myself out for recuperation, you know? I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be saying that. So then I have to look in the mirror, look at you guys, and say, oh my gosh, my voice sucks. No more vacations 2023. My voice. Ugh. Maybe it's the airplane. I mess with my voice. Um, this is a big time game. We gotta win this. I think currently, if I look at the playoff picture, um, yeah, we're the number one seed as it stands. So we've had this thing lately. It's called um, it's called just me sucking at the game, where I get number one seed, and then I don't win the Super Bowl. And it's literally my least favorite game, and it continues to happen because I play really good in the regular season. I've been dominant, and then I just don't win. It's this new fun little game that I play, and I lose it at every single time. But is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Week sixteen, Atlanta week. Let's go. Uh huh. Oh my. I didn't help you, Lane. 
Good block, but just horrible. I think I, truthfully, I think I messed that up. That was a great, great, great block. I just didn't need to do anything with it. Day late and a dollar short, bud. That's Traylon Burks. Tough Tony Hills. Man, oh man, would I love if Traylon Burks was something more than just a star dev. That was the goal, but like I prioritized wins. I really did. At the end of the day, I prioritized winning, which I don't regret. But like, man, I wish I would have passed these guys more. I really do. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. Good run. Good run, CMC. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Good job. Second and through that outside zone, actually, we're getting really good blocking from the tackles when I run this outside zone. Like, better than expected uh, blocking just on the outside. Like, really good. Like, they're just holding the block. It's not necessarily going to be touchdowns, but this is going to be a run come playoff time that I might just spam like this because it looks like we're getting a, like, a good amount of push off from these guys every time. And then I can also audible to this and just make a horrible decision when I need to. Oh, I didn't realize that was a read. I would like to formally apologize to everybody um, for that read. That was horrible. And I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize. I thought it was zone. It was not. RPOs are only fun when I do them. Nobody else. I am allowed to do them. That's the only way they're fun. Come here. Got him. Good defense. I don't even. Hall. Well done, Hall. Play red zone because now, now we're in an interesting position with the clock where this is actually this is not elite. It's not great. I don't love this at all. Justin Herbert Make him make the first move, Conway. Lewis seen it, bro. Lewis a hundred percent seen that coming. Don't know how he didn't pick that off. That should have definitely been picked. Okay, outside shade. No, inside shade. Inside shade. Outside shit on him. Here's Herbert. Come here. You thought I don't even know. I don't even know what that was. Odom, I don't even know how that all just occurred, but I just want to say thank you, sir, for being you. Let's dance. Okay, offense. We played way too safe on the last drive. We played way too safe. Ended up getting nothing. I gotta pass more. I gotta just. I gotta be willing to make more mistakes, because come playoff time, this little run-only lame approach isn't gonna pay off. I have to play less lame. I have to start making some good reads because, at the end of the day, I want to win a Super Bowl. I don't care about this. I'm in a Super Bowl slump right now. I've made a lot of Super Bowls. I haven't been winning them. I want to win one. So, I gotta find a way to win. Is he blitzing me here? If he is, then I'm probably toast. No, no, he is. I'm gonna go for this. He's blitzing everybody on you, Brett. I honestly think you can throw this to Traylon Burks. Two seconds after you snap it, yeah. Yeah, some guys are just different. Some guys, it's Traylon Burks, that's unreal. I saw that he was blitzing because I have threat detector on all these dudes. Yep, there we go, Slayton. Yep. First time, just get seven. Doesn't have to be anything pretty. Our defense is good. Does not have anything pretty. Just block up O-line. If they're going to scream at us, you guys block. And then I'll find Slayton. Don't worry about me. Let's just hurry this thing up. I'm kind of playing the waiting game of like, hey, bro, are you going to use a timeout? Am I going to use a timeout? Are neither of us going to use a timeout? Like that, that's, that's the game me and him are playing right now. I'm, at this point, I'm saying, hey, bud, I'm just going to keep throwing the ball. I'll run here, and then I'll take my timeout. But... Yeah, he won the game. Oh. Timeout. Bro, CMC! 
Oh my gosh, I was trying to take it as close as possible. Like, as close as humanly possible. Oh. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Now what do I do? I genuinely don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to trust the hot hand, man. And he's short. Yeah. Good clock management, idiot. Charles has scoreless first half. How does that change how you that might be a tough so. I think I messed that up completely. I got stuck in like a three line and only sending three situation. Yeah. Bro, that was dumb. Might be able to get a free free release here from Can you just host this McCaffrey? <laughs> I'm just, I'm really upset with how I played that before half. Those are crucial decisions that I, that were made, that were made very poorly. Lane Johnson, clip that, please. Yeah, got out of bounds. Lane, that is why you get linemen. That was beautiful. Yeah. Seven off. Yeah, I'm going to try and take this game back. I have the best onside percentage in the league right now. And a good job here by the Falcons. On first down, it's Herbert. Come here. Go. Get out of there, Lewis. Okay. Game just like that. Just like one good throw to Slayton, some good defense in this game is right back in a position that we can win it. Lewis is my favorite user of all time. Yep, just get rid of it. Oh my, I couldn't take control. I gotta go for this. Oh, I gotta go for this. Okay, I know who's blitzing is the nice thing. If I go double streaks here. Yeah, that was, that was a snuggie. Oh my gosh, that was freaking, way to draw it up, Matt Canada, Brett Can. what the heck was that? Two streaks into a cover, just the dumbest route combo I've ever seen in my life, an absolute dumpster fire of routes. Okay, now this game just got a lot more interesting. This guy just freaking bop. Yep. Derek Hall, have a game, kid. Okay, we're going to do a type of coverage. Uh, I got stuck. No. Lewis seen it, bro. Don't. Are you just. I got a good bunch defense. Okay, CMC, run it. Let's get out of here. We can win this. My gosh, this is a disaster. I, I think I'm gonna go. I don't know. Okay, guys. I don't know. What, I don't know what the heck is about to happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I suck. I suck. I'm not good. That that was not good. I literally got so lucky right there. Yep. Good job, Hollins. Yeah, I can take 40 off the clock every time. Difficult part. I feel like you trust the run game here. Yeah. You do. And that's exactly what we got, guys. It pays off. It, this is a weird franchise. I don't know if I'll ever do this again. I don't even know how to characterize this. I don't know what this is. I don't know who this is. This is the strangest franchise of my entire life. But we win games. Just literally by annoying people with the run. Like right there, that's a situation. I run a read option on second and ten. We get a huge chunk of yards and we're about to kick a field goal. For the one, it's it's a really, really, really random. Um he's gonna ice it, obviously. Um it's just such a random play style. But weirdly enough, and you might I might not see it every down. Like this is I don't know if it's something that you necessarily see consistently like oh this is but I think there's something to the fact that I do have a lot of time in the pocket and that's helping us big time win guys I think there's a chance we get the one seed if we win our next game we probably get the one seed guys hey let's freaking go <sighs> hey we're playing good football and I, I don't did he get over 150 there dude we might get our Richie Grant recuperation we might have some recuperation before the playoffs that would be clutch 
Dude, I knew it. Get that man recuperation right now. Somebody get that man recuperation. Guys, we get a superstar. That's actually kind of cool. Richie Grant. Yep, recoup we'll go bench press. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This season's going really well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bro, as of right now, we got the number one seed in the entire league. Shout out to that. One seed for life. That, I need merch. What if I got merch that said one seed for life? I think I'd make fun of myself. I don't know if it would be nice. I feel like maybe it would be cool. One seed. No, I just feel like, no. What would be good Brett merch? I don't think anyone's buying anything I'm making. I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't even think I would buy anything that I would make. That's the honest truth. That's why I don't, people always ask, why, Brett, why don't you sell merch? And I'm just like, yeah, I don't think I even want to buy my own merch. One day I will. I, but like, I, it has to be something cool. Like it needs to be more of like a Madden or something football that you can wear that's not like, ugh, you know, like I just don't, it's like something like TD Barrett on the, it's like, okay, what are we doing here? You know? That's where I'm a little bit like, that's not really my style of merch. Guys, we beat the Texans. I think we get the number one seed. If we lose, we're going to have a tie break. We could still potentially get the number one seed. Texans, tough out. Going to be a good one to kind of end the season. We'll close out after and we'll talk about stats and everything from this very interesting year. Uh, but going up against the 11-5 Houston Texans, lock in like Stockton, shoot threes. I don't know, guys. Do what we do. Let's go. <sighs> Run, CMC. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the... I can't be mad, dude. That's Jeffrey Simmons. I, I love him. You know, there's certain players in the league. If you're a Titan and you, if I lose the Super Bowl and it's all Titans making the big plays, you know what? I'm not. No, I'm gonna be equally mad. That's that's dumb. But okay. His juke is like supercharged. Like that's not a. That's not even a fun juke. That's not like a. That's insane. His juke is insane. His juke is really insane. I'm going to run here and hope that Simmons is a little over aggressive. Nope. Yeah, I think I'm gone. Yeah, no. Sorry. Yeah, I'm running out of steam. I need to make these last two jukes. How many clips am I going to hit? Bro, this, this season has been a movie. Like, truthfully, I don't know how I'm going to win in the playoffs. I don't know if I can win a bowl with this team. I can't promise you that this is going to end up with a ring, but I can promise you that, my gosh, like, this is really a concept that can work. I should have kept that. I don't know why I didn't keep that. That's 100% touchdown if I keep it. I'm literally just going jump. Oh, wow. I, I'm not even mad at what I did. Literally, what I did was exactly what I was planning on doing. I wanted to throw a lob jump ball. I had nothing else. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to throw a lob jump ball. Did it work? Absolutely not. But Burks had a chance to catch it. That's been a new thing of mine. Those get picked less than, like, crappy bullet passes. You guys already know, bro. I, I got to stop doing this. You got. I don't even know why I do this. It's that. I, want, I like taking people's timeouts. Holy Grant's a superstar. Grant is a superstar. That's weird actually to see. Good good for him. Throwing here, He had someone wide open in the middle. I literally was I literally backed off to let him throw that because I thought there was a good chance I was gonna be an inaccurate. And potentially an interception. Did not work out that way for us, unfortunately. Dude hits a crazy crossbody throw. Power to him. Truthfully power to him. Gibson. Diving for the end shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Okay, make it attainable. Ooh, I'm thinking screen here. He's sending so many that if I can somehow get this screen throw off, I don't call a lot of screens. 
But if I can somehow get this screen, I think I can get this first down. And he's close. Uh, that was a good play call. Even though we didn't get it, that's seven yards in that situation. Gives us a chance here to get it, but yikes, yikes, yikes. This looks like zero, honestly. I just want to kind of confuse him a little bit. Yeah, I think CMC can just run such good routes. If I if I notice it's man on man, I'm immediately going to go with that. It's all right. Fourth down. I hate the fact of how much that we struggle in these pass com com ugh, these pass situations. I and mean, it's been all year. It's been the same thing. It's what terrifies me most about this whole season is the struggle and that's a dot but like i don't feel confident in that spot i don't feel confident that i can throw dots there i have time and i have a running back but like oof. you know what i'm saying like this is it's not overly pretty over here i think i honestly i think i had burks i was just scared scared money no money yeah he's just too slow i have no timeouts yeah good juke I did that little side you because I, I got no timeout, so I can't can't afford to stay in bounds. It's everything's got to get out of bounds. Yep. The problem is here; it's really hard to get everything. Out of yeah. I I prioritize getting the sideline. I wanted to make sure that for this third down call. Even though this isn't a third down call that I want, I just want to make sure that I at least can huddle. Now, what I have to know here is if I don't get this, thank you, 56. Oh my gosh, he tackled us in. Completely, he tackled us in. Like, I, oh, that was awkward. That easily could have ended horrible. I had no timeouts. I don't know for sure if I, he kind of ran backwards. Okay, defense at the half, get a stop, win this game. I think we'll get the number one seed for like the fifth time in a row with no Super Bowls to show for it, which has to, I'm, I need a bowl. I need one. First down, here's how they complete it to Hill. And he's taking, he's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Richie Grant. The user is phenomenal. That was amazing. I love that. I lurked him. I never lurk. That was good. That was good, Brett. Okay, let's just do an inside zone for my super OP line and just watch them get toasted. I have to guess that it's man. It's a snap. Crazy, not good decision by me. CMC would have been moved. It was man, but he had, he had a free rusher coming right through the middle. It was man, but there, there was a free rusher right through the middle. I should have just lobbed it to CMC. I rushed it. Not good. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. Oh, that's a bad. Take it right back. Take it right back. Go, Flowers. We can't score on this guy, Flowers. So I don't even know what to tell you. I'm going to try and get. Let's get out of here. I don't think his offense is that good. I know my offense is horrible. So. Yeah. Dubs. Go, Dubs. Go, Josh Dubs. There it is. Yeah, I'm going read option for the win. That's crazy. The 32 was blitzing. Was that his user, though? The reason I ran that is because there was no read. There was no read defender, but Matthew just ran into Irv. You can fall in love with the option a little bit too much. And not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. Splitting the gap. Yeah. 
That's crazy that Dobbs just made Dobbs shouldn't have made that throw. The pressure that we had, that should have been inaccurate. I can't believe that. Thank you. I'll take a little bit of love from the game. Oh my gosh. This is lit. We're playing for the one seed here, and Dobbs just made the craziest throw I've ever seen. Like, under pressure completely. I can't run on him. I can't do anything. I, this is someone I don't want to see in the playoffs. Top 10 people I don't want to see in the playoffs. This guy... Yes, because I can't freaking move on him. And my defense isn't good enough to just, like, box people come playoff time. I'm terrified of this guy. I'm, do I'm in the same situation I was in last time. This situation, I'm going to lob it to CMC for the win. Same situation I was in last time. This time, I'm going to lob it to the best player. Ever. Bang! Let's go, man! Ice in my veins! I'm so Stunning. Dude, that was like, that's why I picked him first, I guess. Like, I don't know. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Three claps, man. That was unreal. And he didn't come. Do I go for the onside just to annoy him? Take that timeout, bud. Take that timeout. I think I got the win now. He's got one timeout. Take that timeout. You won't. Oh, that's all right. Hey, sick clip either way. Oh, that was so good. Ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I want to introduce myself as the number one seed. It doesn't matter. I've literally got the number one seed so many times. I'm on like a number one seed hot streak and a life losing streak. And a video game. Like, I just can't win. Richie's about to get oh, three wins. That's all I can say. This team, I have to play a certain way. I have to run. I have to control the clock. There's so many things that go into winning with this particular team that we're going to talk about as we get to divisional statistically great season everyone so freaking good like McCaffrey 1400 yards can we get three claps for CMC 1400 yards we had a total of rushing yards we had 1400 plus 500 we already that's pretty much close to a thousand or that's close to 2000 2300 we had about 20 I'd say about 2,400 rushing yards and a lot of touchdowns on the ground. Our passing numbers were brutal. Our receiving numbers were all CMC. CMC should win MVP twice. And I say that he should win it twice because he should. Somehow Nick Chubb is there. And somehow he's not even... How? Okay. Someone riddle me this, EA. Riddle me this. How? Is he not an MVP candidate? Like, bro, what? He's not even a candidate. He had... 13 touchdowns and 1,400 yards, and he had six touchdowns and 700 yards. He led his team. He led the number one seed team in every freaking stat. Oh, gosh. is what it is. Guys, I don't know who we're playing. I don't know how this is going to happen. I just want to say I'm proud of this season. We'll see who we get in the divisional. GG's to my opponent. Let's freaking go. Ladies and gentlemen, I am in no way surprised that this is my matchup. This guy... He's good. He's got good run defense. This is a scary matchup for us. Um, he won his first round game. Like I said, the first round bye helps a ton. It makes a big difference. But at the end of the day, it's not the whole story. It's a big part of the story. It, it matters. But you got to win three games still. And sometimes you get set up for these really tough second round games. And yeah, it's not going to be sweet. He's got the best run defense by far. He pretty much plays cover zero and forces me to pass. Now... A player like us this year, all we've done is freaking run the ball. Like, all I've done. That's it. That's all I have. I literally run the ball 40 times a game. I don't have good receivers. So what he pretty much has done against me, mind you, his offense is not that great, which is kind of our saving. Like That, that saves us. This hat is too freaking tight. Um, but the thing that, like, saves me a little bit is I didn't think his offense was great. But my offense isn't great. We're just, it's, it's an interesting match. It's a playoff game that's going to be sweaty. I'm going to have to find a way to run the ball. I'm going to have to find a way to win. It's going to take some creativity. It's going to take a lot of stuff. We have had an amazing season. I'm proud of this season. We're going to be playing the winner of Buffalo and Denver, which is going to be a tough out as well. If we do end up winning this, but at the end of the day, CMC has got to be a big part of this. Najee's got to be a big part of this. Everyone's got to be a big part of this. Um, to give you a little bit more of a deep dive into this team, He's got Tyree Kill on his team. That's terrifying. Like, Tyree Kill, two superstar D linemen. Matthew superstar. Like, this guy's team's no joke. He knows what he's doing. 
He's got Tyreek, Turpin, Tyler Boyd. Like, this is no layup. This is a dunk. This is a contested Scotty Barnes dunk. Shout out to Scotty Barnes. And it's going to take a lot. Um, but we got, we're going to find a way. We're three wins away. Lock in like Stockton, baby. Shoot free throws. I don't know. Win the game. Let's go. Because I feel like I've become incredibly predictable. So, like, stuff like trying to hit CMC on the very first play. You know what? Even that right there. Boom. Thank you for the 15. Even stuff like that right there. I like that as an opener because everyone comes out and thinks, I'm running the ball. That's all I've done all season. I've literally ran the ball all year. This guy, he's got two superstars on, on his defensive line. He's been a problem in the run game. I pass, throw him off. Good job, CMC. Okay, that's eight yards. Well done. Okay. I want this run to work so badly, but you see that? It's just, it's literally Tyron Matthew. He's, he's usering Matthew, and he's coming off the edge so seamlessly. Oh! It's, it's man. It's man. Just literally step through that. 100%. Yep. Burks, you're a stud for that. See what I mean? Every single time I drop that, he has the perfect strategy. If you ever play a team that looks anything like man, my team, play man every single time. Be lame. Literally, there's nothing lame about winning bowls. Against this team, you should not play zone. I don't have a single receiver who can beat man coverage. So it's like, play man and blitz exactly like how he's doing. Force me to just run the ball for two yards. Gives easily the best chance to win. But not everyone will do that, but that's truthfully what you should do. That's the Achilles heel of this squad. And like every time I run this, oh my gosh, CMC is just different. Like I'm just having to make Juke so early and he's carrying the pile. Like, good job. First down. Is throwing. Josh Dobbs, baby. That's the man beater right there. The Conquo. That's the man beater. Dude, he's not like. I got him. Like, his offense is not good. It's not. Oh, that should have been lurked. It really, that really should have been lurked. Good job. I'm doing the same thing he does to me. I'm just sending overload blitzes and I'm just putting double team over Tyree Kill's side. Wherever Tyree Kill is getting an extra zone so he can't throw it deep. And then I'm just sending zero blitzes. Two can play two can play that game, bud. Except for I should have used it that better. Make a tackle. <laughs> On film, I'm roasting you. Virtual film room. I'll see you in vir like how do you not? He made a career business decision and waited that out. Why wait that out? Okay, you just gotta stop me. For the play fake, and now here's how to throw it. They'll roll him out right. This is caught. Now Dobbs. You got Hollins 100% and he catches it. Six for six, baby. Not a confident six for six. I have to say, I don't know. I don't feel that good about this six for six. Yep, good block. Go! Go, Slayton! Don't you dare get caught! Matthew's not faster than you. Yep. That's called just knowing player speeds. I don't juke there. I don't try and do anything funny. I know that Matthew is like 89 speed. I know that he's 94 speed. Easy mismatch. Got him. 14 7. And he has ball at half. He plays this right. I almost have to play either really aggressive to potentially like either get a sack or him score. I got to – there's a couple – I don't really know the best way to play this. I really don't. Back to throw. Okay, minimum here we're getting the ball back. That's, that's the only good thing. Here's Hal. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. Touchdown. James Cook. Okay. Minimum, like I said, we get a chance with the ball here. Um, 
before half. That That's the only positive to really take away from this. And he's crazy to go for that. Thanks for going for it. Because now if I get a touchdown before half, I'm going for two. I'm going to try and make this a two-score game and completely take momentum back. Don't understand why you go for that there. Whoa! We, we can't stop anything. He's got that whip route. Is absolutely... This game's completely different than the last game we played. Last game was all defense. This game is nobody has any defense. Don't fumble. Okay. Josh Dobbs. You need to drive here, bud. Someone's just got to block Simmons and I'm gone. Someone's just got to block Simmons and I'm gone. Got to bounce. There it is. Easy 15. If he's going to pinch his line, if he's going to play CMC like that, I have to be able to keep it. Because keeping it, like... See, he pinches his line. It gives me a free kind of read defender. Yeah, I'm going to have that all day. That's 25 yards on two easy run plays. Not mad about that at all. There we go. Oh, good blocking. Dobbs, we need dots, kid. We need dots. We need dots. We need dots. We need dots. Yep. I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm literally willing here. I'm going to take my time out. I'm going to give him a little bit of time to ensure that I have the full amount of time. I don't have a great deal of confidence in stopping him right now, so I I need this. Yeah, I love that. Hurry that one up. Just run the exact same play. Hurry it up on the exact same play. Throw it, throw it to a combo. Hollins. Oh, what do I do here, though? Oh, I actually think that was a good play. Just as as we've seen, man, I don't have the receiver. That was one on one. Burks just literally got schooled right there. Okay, defense. We need to stop, guys. I got nothing. What else do I say? We need to stop. Oh my gosh. How are you holding on to that, though? There we go. Push the run outside. Good stuff. Okay, this, this is easily the biggest play of the game. I feel like just given this formation, I'm looking... Like, it's got to be something going over the middle. Some, no way you just ran that ball. No, like, I respect that. Dude just ran on third and ten. Biggest play of the game, and he calls an RPO. Oh, my gosh. Biggest play of the game. If, if you're willing to do that, I got to hand it to you. Like... Power to you, bro. It's essentially telling me I have to, at any given point, I have to be rushing at least four people because he loves these RPOs. Richie Recuperation Grant! Thank you. Little bit of luck. Little bit of luck. Oh my gosh. That's his first mistake of the day. Okay. We got to make him pay for that. We have to make him pay for that. Yeah, this is a touchdown. No, I, I was unconservative. I didn't realize I was unconservative or else I wouldn't have said that was a touchdown. I don't know how we picked that. Shout out to Richie Grant. He may have just saved the season because this, this was looking really, really, really rough. That's all right. Move the pile. Crazy double juke. Throw a questionable read or anything. Like, yeah, that's a touchdown. Okay, end this game, bro. One stop. Yo, Richie Grant may have just literally given us hope for a Super Bowl. Shout out Richie Grant. I, I want to take a timeout. I know it's lame, but I want to take a timeout. Take a timeout, dude. Take a timeout. For the win. I don't care. If you're not willing to take a timeout, you don't want you don't want it bad enough. Big! I, let's go. I hate me. I, if you're not willing to take a timeout. 
I'll see you in the AFC chip. Like, I'm, I'm giving people chances. It's like, all you got to do is you just got to take a timeout. All I need. But, hey, you don't want to take a timeout? Fine by me, bud. Save your time. That timeout's going to look really good in Cancun when your season's over. Good stuff. Lame, but very effective. Hey, man, that guy up. I'm wrong for that. GG's, bro. GG's. Okay, guys, AFC chip, baby. AFC chip. Yeah, he's going to quit. Rightfully so. Um, I, I, this is why I keep losing the Super Bowl. I got to stop. The taunt juke, that was extra. Okay. One game away from the bowl with the run only team. Richie Grant literally changed that game in a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take this moment to apologize to absolutely nobody, man. I need a, I need a ring. And I got no receivers. I, like I said, I felt lame about the onside. But at the end of the day... He should have taken a. He should have taken a. Should have taken a timeout. That, that's all I gotta say. I did feel lame about it, guys. This is what it comes down to: us against the Bills. If you want to make money, you gotta be willing to pay your bills, fellas. Digs, digs. Oh, that's cool. Fields, digs. Godwin, like this. This is a really freaking good team. We didn't play him in the season. Um, this is a squad though, and this is a good player. This is someone. Um, who actually started a YouTube channel recently, B Corms. Make sure to go check him out. Uh, it's like B Corms 19. Go show him some love. Cool kid. Um, but at the end of the day, I got to win this. We're one game from the chip. He's got a squad. I've got a pretty good squad. I, I just don't want to freaking lose, man. Ugh. Do whatever we got to do. I think at the end of the day, that's why I have to look at this. Do whatever we got to do to win. I'm not here to make friends. This was a bit of a tough challenge. I want to see if o -line, an O-line team can carry him into the bowl. And it is one game away from proving that an O-line team can potentially carry him into the bowl. The problem is we don't have a lot of defense, and that is what scares me. Ooh, should I play this in a different stadium? Should I rebuild the stadium just for this game? Oh, that would be so tough. I'm literally... Yeah, I just rebuilt the stadium for one game. I've always wanted to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've always wanted to do that outdoor game against Buffalo. Guys, put up or shut up. It's going to be a good one. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go, fellas. In the new, like, I just wanted to build this stadium because look at how cool this stadium is. We get, like, an outdoor futuristic stadium. The fastest construction you've ever seen in your life um, went into building this. Okay, watch out for Trayvon Diggs jumping those. At the end of the day, man, it's it's CMC versus the world for me in this franchise. I don't have a lot of other options, and if I don't have a run game and he can force me to pass all game, I don't see this going well. So early and often, CMC, CMC, CMC. Yeah. Come on. Okay, third down. O line's gonna hold up. I know that for a fact. It's just all about Burks, and Burks holds on despite the fact that I believe Trayvon Diggs is out there with KO abilities. Oh, what a cool one of these times I gotta draft the all siblings team, and like I just gotta take all the different, like I gotta try and get both Bosa's, both Diggs, and. Both St. Browns. Like, I, I got to try that at some point for a challenge. Come on, CMC. Good run. Okay, he's absolutely screaming at me. I'm just going to go inside zone. I, he was absolutely screaming at me, but I didn't get enough blocks out of that. I, this is what I'm trying to avoid actively. Like, actively I'm trying to avoid these situations. Especially when it's zero and Josh Dobbs is going to have to get the ball out of his hands in like half a second. There's something to just like, yeah, this is, I hate this. He knows I got no one who can burn him deep. That's, that's the problem. Except, except Slayton. Do it! Let's go, man! Stop disrespecting me, please. I'm about to get upset. If you keep disrespecting me, I'm about to get upset. Boom. No, 
CMC. I don't feel like I don't want to switch up. I got to. As of right now, the the biggest hurdle is is red zone, and it's crazy that that's our biggest hurdle. It really is. You wouldn't expect that. I'm just gonna try and go right through the middle. I just I got no red zone. I might have Hollins here. I think he's blitzing that guy off the head. What's the call? What's the call? Excuse me. What? Apparently that was a legal man downfield. It's a horrible penalty. Let's take three. I don't have time to get in the quarter. Dang, the RPO was the call, realistically. The RPO was the call, and you saw the RPO work. Um, just apparently Tyron Smith was a little bit downfield, got us to a third and nine. I wasn't going to try and throw a pick to give him all the momentum. I at least got to see what he got on offense before I start making those risks. Oh my gosh! That's not a read! That's not a read! I'm sorry, that's not a good read. Oh, that's so frustrating to me. I'm manning up everybody. And I got a hard flat over there. That's great defense. I don't, like he's thrown it to a hard flat twice. This is what I'm doing. I'm manning up everybody on this side. Here now I'm gonna put him in a vert hook. To play against this. And then we get absolutely torched. Like he throws to a hard flat four times. It's on me, I guess. That's be better. Throws to a hard flat four times. Okay, Josh Dubs, we need it, bro. We need it, we need it, we need it. Go, go, Josh. Go, Josh Dobbs. That's all right. It's a good run. Two for 18 for him. It's just literally red zone. We, we did a good job last drive. Minus red. And if that Slayton throw could have been just a little bit further, we could have been in a much better situation. Good job, McCaffrey. Way to push the pile, man. Way to push the pile. And situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down yep. was. Yeah, it's a first. Everything we're doing right now is working offensively. I don't, I'm not necessarily overly concerned clockwise right now. I'm more just, I don't want to give him a ton. Of, he, he was very close to throwing picks on his drive. That's the, that's what's keeping me confident is he was very close. What's scaring me is this defense that he's coming out in. This is pretty much like a, hey, you have to pass type defense and you see how he even calls a timeout as soon as because he knows he's just forcing me to pass he does not think I can which fair enough but I have to try and run on second and 11 I, I, I have to because if I get into a passing only game like I lose with this team so there it is, Dobbs. Even if I get three and he has no time, that's better than a lot of situations and scenarios. Swift! Swift! Good run, Swift! Even three, and he has a... Yeah, three's not bad in this spot. Three is not bad in this spot. Time out. I think he's blitzing you, Brett. I really, I, I really do. And Hollins, you're just so good. Collins never stop being you. I threw that with a lot of anticipation. A lot of good things went into that throw. Josh Dubs, baby! Josh Dubs, baby! Good job, Dobbs. Okay, now, throw into a hard flat again, please. I want you to throw into a hard flat. That's a drive, ladies and gentlemen. 10 plays, 90 yards in 3 minutes and 23 seconds. Putting ourselves in a position where after half we get a stop, we get 7. We could go from being in a rough spot to being in a really good spot super quick. Um, depending on how we can do on this defensive drive. Cannot let him score in this 14 seconds. That's got to be priority number one. I got the best onside percentage in the league right now. I'm going for it, bro. I'm going for it. Please. 
I uh, caught it. Hey, stick to who we, we've been this guy all year. I'm sticking to it. I don't care. Next season, I'll be normal. This season, I'm going to keep being weird. Verticals. Right, so you're there, man. Great job. There it is. Three's fine. Three is totally fine. Yep. Okay, offense. We got a chance now to go take a seven point lead. Red zone, dead zone. That was so stupidly, stupidly clutch. Fourth down. I just can't keep running on first and second. There's no point against him. He's done everything to show me that I can't do that. So at some point, I just have to stop doing that. Love that play call from me. Rather than putting him on the angle, I put him on a hook route, knowing that he's playing double Mabel, knowing that all of his zones are on the outside. Playmaker up, laser. Okay, I don't... I don't know what to do running the ball wise. I'm honestly, I truly think I have to attack out of shotgun runs. The, the under center run game is totally, 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 totally brutal. That's the best defense yet. Honestly, you can see the result, man. That pick just kind of sums up my clutch situation. Like, he's just going to take the clock down. I got to get him off the field at this point. I'm sick, dude. It's just the same. I keep making these same mistakes. Give me those! Clock that, bud. Hey, hey, bud. Clock that. I'm break. I gotta break this curse. I gotta break this curse. Come on, man. I gotta break this curse. Get lurked, kid. Oh my gosh, get lurked, kid. Okay, now. Now, CMC, we're in a legitimate chance to win this game. Sit. Sit. Okay. Problem is here, guys. I wish I could say that this was... I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I could say that this game was over. No, it's not. You, I at least will guarantee myself three points and a chance to make this a little bit interesting. But... Sometimes the result goes in their favor. At the end of the day, like I need I need a first down here. Dog Dogs, you stud! Oh my gosh. Time please. How much? He, he can take one time out. I can t that may have been the clutchest play I've ever seen in my life. Dobbs literally falls forward. Do I want to score? That's the question. His last time out goes, I can take 40. I can take 40 seconds here, 40 seconds again. 
I think I can leave him with like 10 seconds. I if if I score, I score obviously, but if he is gonna stop me, I am gonna take the clock down. This is an interesting spot because he's gonna have a little bit of time. Okay, I have to run this. Okay, with that, the issue that lies here is I can take three, but he's going to have probably at least 14 seconds to try and come up with a play to get out of bounds and take three. That's that's where the issue lies. Okay. Dude, Josh Dobbs falling forward there. The clutchest thing maybe I've ever seen in my entire life. Issue is, he still has 17 seconds. And I am known in crunch time situations like this to be really bad. He probably has a throw to the middle and a spike. If he can throw to the middle and get the amount of yards. I gotta do like a short kick to the fullback there. Check seam. Check seam. Bang! Shut up! Let's freaking go! Who got him? What kind of an animation? I don't know. I don't know. Guys, book the ticket. Book the freaking ticket. Second and one. Worst offensive line play. If I'm him, I'm crying right now. Look at his O-line in this. Like, I admit on both sides when the game's frustrating. Like, what in the, in the world? Like, how? Look at this. Like, just no. That's a three-man pass rush. Three-man pass rush, okay? That guy doesn't help or do anything. He just sits there. I think in a normal game, he'd at least look to help him. If not, potentially kick out and, like, do something there. He's definitely not just going to sit there and be upset. Clutch's play of the day was this right here. The second and 14 rush from Josh Dobbs proved why he was my QB. I go, I cut in, I go to slide and, and mid slide, because if I get that slide, I'm short mid slide. He gets pushed forward, doesn't fumble and ices it. Guys, the all running team is going to the freaking Super Bowl. Book the ticket. This experiment might work. Ladies and gentlemen. Dude, I gotta break the curse at some point. This guy just beat Ernest. Uh, he just beat me, Mr. Retro. I don't know, man. At some point, I gotta break the curse. At some point, I gotta get back on that podium. This is a perfect team for me. This is a perfect team play style wise. I think I just need to be confident again. I think I've, I've lost that in some ways. Um, did we get any dev? Oh, I bet Lewis did. Now that I think about it. I bet Lewis got a dev upgrade. Yeah, it says he has abilities. Sadly, it's going to be freaking recuperation, bro. There's nothing I hate more than recuperation. We'll go bench press with Lewis. That's why sometimes we got to do multi seasons of these. Uh, we're going up against the Bears, guys. When we are in the Windy City, you know we're going to bear down. Nick Bosa on this squad. We're going to do a deep dive kind of of this guy's team. Um, yeah, I, I think, honestly, last year when I went on that bull run, I, I went into games really confident. I just felt like no matter who I was playing against, I was going to win. And I think I've lost that a little bit, if I'm being honest. And I need to go into this game with the mindset of not even really thinking about it. I'm sick of losing, bro. I am I know I'm good. I know I'm, especially with a team like this, I am doing the mindset of like, yo, dude, you're not going to beat me. And that's all I'm going to say right now to you guys is this guy's not going to beat me. I want the bowl. I know this team's good. I might draft a team like this every single time. This could be the team that get me out of my freaking slump. CMC, let's go run. O-line, hold your blocks. Let's dance. First play and a first throw for Rogers. It's all right. Rodgers and Kittle is definitely a duo worth um, worth respecting. We're talking about that. That's a legitimate duo right there, those two. That's boxed. Good defense, guys. Keep screaming. We blitz every single play. That's a, that's another big difference between 
Scared Money Brett and No Money Brett is Scared Money Brett does not blitz. Yeah, there's a 30 yard there. There's a 30 yard there. Smith, dude. Oh my gosh. Do I do sneak attack spinner? Sneak attack spinner, if you guys don't know, this has been old school when Brett was good thing he would do where he would come out in zone and then I'd just sneak attack to spinner. Just man on man, literally. Still don't hate the call. It's just a dot. So he would absolutely torched us right there. I don't hate the call. That's un that's just unfortunate. Yeah, I manned him up. <laughs> Come on. Somebody get me out of this Super Bowl slump. Somebody, anybody. Like, oh my gosh. I manned that up the last play. Well, I'm late on it. I don't know why I'm late on it. It's just obvious right there is. Good, good opener. I honestly think I can go up to slate. I think he's in cover zero. Just throw it to his inside shoulder. Throw it to his inside shoulder. I have to, I have to be able, able to do that. He showed on that first play that he's he's got decent run defense. He's got two superstars on that line. <sighs> CMC one guy, man. Now he's now he's got to back off us a little bit, which is these. Yeah, Holland, I had Burks too. I had Burks too. Yep, 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 yep. Let's dance, bud. That defense didn't impress me. His offense mildly impressed me. The defense that he just put on display did not impress me that much. So, assuming I can get a stop, I think I can score. Um, he's trying to blitz me like crazy, and man, obviously we had Slayton make a big time play, but that blitz... As long as I'm making my reads and doing things smart, we're going to be a-okay. Dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm doing some wild adjustments now. I'm cross-manning everybody. Yeah. Bang! Let's go. I'm cross-manning everybody. Okay, he's about to see the next adjustment. My first book. Good pick. Literally, I'm sweating. I don't care anymore. No more Mr. Nice Brett. I need a Super Bowl. I don't care. I'll make 40 adjustments per play on defense if I have to to confuse these guys. Do not care. Don't at me. My hair is brutal. I don't care. Run the freaking rock and go get a Super Bowl, Brett. This is McCann. Got him. Back to throw yeah. Come on, CMC. Yeah, he's at the one. Or he's at the five. Dobbs is throwing. Get rid of it. It's been our problem all year. Oh, do I run here? Do I pass? If he's blitzing that guy. I should have CMC coming right behind them. I'm actually going to do something a little different. I'm going to make sure to move both those guys out. And it's going to be CMC and Oconquo who I'm going to read between. Okay, thank you. Play defense. All year, same freaking issue. If I can't run it, there's no other way I'm scoring. But... Okay, cross man, DB fire two, scream off both sides. The next adjustment. Oh, that's not the right adjustment. Ah, I hate that adjustment that he just did. Okay, I'm responsible for RB. I'm responsible for RB. Yeah, cross man. Every way it looks like DB fire too, bud, but it's not. We're actually gonna send everybody this time. And if he sends out his running back, I obviously that's gotta be number one priority, but I am gonna blitz everybody this play. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, DB fire two cross man. Oh, I've missed you. 
Oh, how I've missed you. Okay, I cannot run against him, though. Oh, no, wait. Wait a minute. Yep, there it is. Okay, we get ball at half. So, if I can somehow get even points here, we're set up really well. Like, I don't need anything crazy. Even just... Can't believe he just did that. That was actually sick. I'm not even mad. That way, because I took the clock down, I can punch this and he's probably, probably he's going to end up with nothing here, but that's not a 100% chance. I'm shook. Okay. I'm shook, but I got to get over it. I got to find a way to get over it and try and find a way to win this. Seven points, we're still ahead. Get seven this drive, worry about everything else after that. How on earth I threw that RPO garbage? I don't know why. I have no idea why I tried to throw a bubble there. It is what it is. I'm, I'm going to have to deal with the consequences, but hopefully we can find a way here. He's still pressing Slayton every play. Now, do I have my worries about throwing a, a ball to Slayton? Yes. Dude. It's alright. Did I really just sell this? Okay, trying to get CMC the ball, guys. I'm trying to get CMC the ball. I, I sold, guys. I totally sold. One of the biggest, one of the biggest total sells I think of my entire career. I totally freaking sold. I don't, I don't even have a, I, I don't have a word to really describe it other than just I totally, I totally sold this one. I can't believe that. Oh my gosh! I just, I'm in a slump. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm in a slump. I get to the Super Bowl and it's like my brain just totally. Short circuits. My, I don't even feel like his offense is that like dominant against us. That's the thing that's frustrating is we started off this game unreal and had I been able to just play a normal game and just run the ball like we have all year, I think we win this game. But instead I got into trouble. I threw that pick. I put myself in a situation where I'm chasing and phew, you're seeing the results of chasing right now. Stop here, Brett. Come on. No, he doesn't have it. That's fourth down. We got a chance to get the ball back. are dwindling here in the fourth that AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory and this one just is out of the gun Dobbs they'll let this go for the end zone nice catch Slayton now do I I think I have to go for an outside don't I 
Like, what, what do I do here? I think at this point I have to go on side. Yeah. I don't know. There's just no other. I don't see many other options. <laughs> okay. Find a way, Brett. Even three isn't the end of the world here. Three, this stays a bit of a game. Oh, seen it. I seen it coming. Trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive. First it's a dot. Good throw. There's a ball throw. I can just keep trying to get seven. Keep trying to get seven and hope for a stop. I just sold, man. I, I feel horrible. To close things out and to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. On first and ten, Dobbs. And it's caught. Oh, this is third and goal. Here's Dobbs to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. We, I, I got to go on side again. I don't know. If he gets three, he gets three. I, maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't like my chances, but crazier things have happened. I think with two minutes and 54 seconds left, it's... We're just we're just playing the onside game at this point, crossing our fingers. Yeah, and our fingers. Okay. Nice user, Brett. I I give him a lot of props. I thought that was a corner route. That's why I ran to the corner. Oh, what a dumpster fire of a Super Bowl. I'm embarrassed, but whatever. Day goes on, man. I'm sorry. I apologize to you guys. I really do. <sighs> Just a huge lack of success. I've lost. I'm in one of my funks. I've lost like four or five Super Bowls in a row. This guy's actually, I don't think, ever beat me before. I, mean, I don't know if that means anything, but I genuinely don't think I've ever lost to this guy. And, of course, I play him in the Super Bowl, and I absolutely sell. Um... I don't want to end this on a bad note. This was a fun season, fun experiment, and I, I always enjoy making videos. So thank you guys. Um, I apologize. Two Gs. I'm not texting two Gs. I apologize. I made, I made a mistake early in the game that pretty much cost it. Just something stupid. It cost me the entire game. Um, yeah, I got, I got lurked. I got lurked out of my mind. He clicked on. This Desmond King, first and 10. I'm in a great position at that spot to win. I think I'm plus, and I have the ball, and I just do the dumbest possible thing. Fourth and four, we get a stop here. Like, we're in great position to run the ball, take over that game, and he intercepts us, and we never really rebounded from that. He was doing an A-gap blitz, so, like, I don't know if you guys saw this play right here. The A gap comes in, sacks us. Then I don't get anything before half. After half, nothing good was going on. Like I, I was trying screens. I was doing everything. I got picked. He started cooking with George Kittle. Like it was just one thing after the other. Great year, guys. I still want to see the other version of this. I hope you're not too mad at me. I, I promise. Every time I try my best. And I'm sorry for disappointing you. GG's. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post golf every day. Make me the happiest person in the world by go subscribe. Check out that channel. There's a link down below. My Instagram is tdbarrettyt. My Twitter is tdbarrettyt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button. Um, go watch another video here. And like I said, go subscribe to my second channel.